Wait, dude, I wish it was sweater weather here. I think it's supposed to get colder tonight. Finally. That is so funny right now. Your YouTube is is um, far advanced than Streamlabs right now. Really? Yeah. I see it a little bit behind. Oh, no. There All we right. go. Oh, you're off today. That's awesome, Sam. Hopefully everything is nice. All right, so box one, box two. Better not pack search. No, dude, I'm never <laughs> just grabbing packs. Yeah, uh, I, I think I have a scale I can go grab if you want me to weigh them out. Look at the pot calling the kettle black. Right, right. All right, so six on this side. Oop. All right, so put them in a nice layout order. Let's go through there. Packs 7 through 12. All right, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Can I have the J's? No, didn't do it in that order. I think this is, I, th I mean, I think this is the fairest way to, to get everybody stuff. So oh, I'm not complaining. I didn't 15, even know that you 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, and one <laughs> more pack. Well, I mean, you tell me. I think. I think this is pretty fair. Everybody gets a chance at something. Wow. Whatever's in each pack, you get. I'm gonna do pro set for mine. I think 12, it's fair. Thirteen packs. Thirteen cards per pack. So each person's getting thirteen cards, a chance at a, at a, an auto. All right. So that's nineteen. That leaves me with five packs. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully, that goes. Right, so that's nineteen. That leaves me with. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I just had your YouTube. That's all right. That's all right. All right. So we're gonna go through and stand these up. I'm gonna label these real quick just for my sanity. One, two. You got scissors ready? I do. I have a. I have a. What do you call it? All right. So one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, and 19. All right. So what I'm going to end up doing is putting them all back in each pack for my sanity and keeping everything in track of who's getting what. Um, or no, I'll, I'll put them all in. I'll put them all in team bags for ease of ease of access. That'll be better. So good luck, everybody. So many packs. Goodbye, a five hundred dollar box of two card or two hundred five hundred dollar box of cards. Two two hundred fifty dollar boxes of cards. Yeah. Where are my? I need to grab a or what do you call it real quick? A bag of team bags, team bags, team bags. So if anybody's interested, I'm gonna be doing a couple boxes of artifacts, hockey, in the stream. Um, talk to me about it. Um, they're eight packs, four okay. cards per pack. Um, get a pretty good assortment. Uh, you get guaranteed one box. Each box is going to have a redemption card for one of the rookies for the year. Okay. And um, you'll guarantee at least one number card up to ninety, no, um, no higher than ninety nine. And uh, what else? A couple of other goodies in there. So what's funny is I don't have team bags. I actually have the one touch receivable bags, and I think they actually work better than the uh, than the team bags. Nice. So let me pull out nineteen and I'll label these all for. Yeah, I far prefer those bags. Dude, they're they're so much nicer. They're they're, they're taller. They're thicker. They're just higher quality, I think overall. So. All right. Let's see. So, one. This is what Jabs does, literally. It's so time consuming, but I think it makes it more extreme. So uh, what were you going to be breaking tonight, Elkanon? 
Uh, well, I'm breaking a Gems of the Game just for myself to stick it to all the people who made fun of me for buying it. And then I'm opening a couple of personal bro box breaks for Super. So. Okay. Super bought in and everything. Yeah. Yeah. He's already paid up, so we're good to go. He seems like a really nice guy. I think he said he was... He's been on top of everything you've been doing, so that's really nice. Yeah, man, he's been real supportive and in, in everything, so it's it's cool. Nice. Uh, this is the first time he's bought in, but uh, he bought a couple boxes, so yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. excited for him. Hopefully, he pulls some fire. Yep. Yeah. I was looking at. Uh, I meant to. I think I sent you that link. Maybe I didn't today. Um, Urban, with the data about the uh, eighty nine Fleer and the numbering for the cases and the boxes. Mm of you know when you can you know what ones have the chance at what version of ricky's uh, billy ripkins yeah there there was a is that the, the site that's been around for like many 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 years yes yeah, so it's just billyripkin.com yeah that's the one and it has that data on it so it's you know call it empirical data at this point so all right no worries sam all right so let me So we got one card break. Let me show this real quick so you guys can see it. I love that. I know, right? <laughs> so you got one card break, Papa J, Chris Urbanski, Anthony Seed, LA Collection, Rob Manley, Samantha McGee, Alan Scott, David Brown, Donald Blomdahl, Taylor Belsham, Philip, Dave Durango, Jesse Burnett. Ripping for Ripkins, Will Pack, Michael, Pirates, and One Cent. Pretty sure that's all of my Patreons. And let me go back here. Okay, there we go. All right, so good luck. Me. Can't believe how clear that razor. Now, do you have options on that razor cam to switch it between fisheye and regular? I personally don't know. I just I just plugged mine in and it, I haven't even done anything with it. Nice. Oh, I still have a screen protector on it too. I wonder if that'll make a difference. Oh no, that's just for the light. Guess I could have left it on. Wow, twins up two nothing. Wow. I was talking to myself. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. No, I can't. Yep. I unplugged my mic by accident, much like Elkanon does. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. so... I taped it tonight. Did you tape it? Oh, yeah. All right. Act one. <coughs> Good luck. I was uh, hearing that the moderator watch time doesn't count for you, so I went and eliminated yeah. most all of my moderators. <laughs> I need to go do that. Ooh, nice Kyle Wright. Green, which is numbered to 99. Yeah, very nice. 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 That's the green know. wave. That's the yeah. green wave, yeah. Oh, a nice Jeff McNeil rookie. Super nice. I really don't like this product, but it's super nice. Who was that? Yeah. Huh? Who was that? Uh, Kristen, uh, who? Oh, Kyle Wright. Right? Okay. No, 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 for the, for the pack. Oh, uh, I think it's one cent. Okay. I'm a little surprised you don't like this product. I don't, dude. I, I can't stand it. I, I, I hate – I okay, so if this was the default product all day, all long, no, no issues. Uh, I'm not going to seal it yet because I need to put the name inside so I know who it's actually going to. So pack two. Thank you, Alex. Hey, Clayton. Welcome back. Hey, Roger. How you doing? Uh, Urban, is that a salt shaker? Oh, it's a little mini Stanley Cup. It's Salt Shaker. <laughs> Love it. Salt Shaker in Paradise. Hey, it's our favorite Ryan O'Hearn. Oh, my goodness. Sean Corey, that's a refractor. So while we're going, oh, it's not a refractor. Okay. While I go through this, I'll also talk about the card numbering, if I find any of these. Um, so you can see, I think I was going to do a setup today talking about the uh, – 
versions. Boom! Wow. Garcia, congratulations. I think that's Papa J. And and he's a San Francisco Giant fan, so that's wow. that's, his. that's congratulations, dude. And you notice how thick the card is. Yeah. That's <laughs> a way to notice if you actually have a hit. I hate to say that. Okay. But there's absolutely somebody could absolutely weigh these to determine what is heavy or not. Because they don't do insert fake inserts or anything like that. I should go to the card shop and see if I can borrow their packs. <laughs> yeah. So you see that thickness. This is absolutely a super thick card compared to the others. Josh Hader. All right. Pack two. Congratulations. All right. One down. Nine to go. I just like how shiny they are. And I actually I prefer the color uh, ones like the green and blue. And, uh, obviously, yeah. most people do. But I think those look awesome. I um, I actually like the Bowman Chrome better from a yeah. product perspective. It looks nice, except, too. Except, except that the Bowman Chrome. Oh, we got a hit. Okay. Oh. Who's that? I don't know. We haven't gotten there yet. Shovel. I'm, I'm cheating by looking at I do like that it's uh, the backgrounds of these photos are definitely like kind of phased out because of the the raised skin of the uh, what do you call it? Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe not. Nope, nope, nope. It's just a blue wave, which I think is to 75. Jacob Degrom, number two of 75. So not an autograph, but still a nice hit. Was that mine? Who's, who's, number, who's number three? Uh, give me a second. I'll look. No worries. I don't have it up on both screens, so I can't actually look. Oh, do, do, do. who do we have? It is you. Congratulations. Next up is Anthony, which is uh, ABC need one, two, three. So good luck, Anthony. If anybody wants to trade for DeGrom, let me know. <laughs> I'll take the Vladdy auto that's coming. Oh, yeah. There's a Vladdy. There's oh. another. See if it's an auto. Roger, Josh Rogers, Joey Rickard, Ricard, nice Jose Altuve, Ooh, Nolan Arenado. Sparkle. Very nice. Out. There's a, I think that's just a refractor. I can't remember. Oh, oh boom. There it is. Boom. Lariano. Ramon Lariano. Nice. So that's two, two down. How you doing tonight, Ralph? All right, let's see who is next. That was Anthony. So we have LA Collection is next. Hey, Ralph. Good Hello. luck, sir. You're still watching? How many people are in the stream right now? I can't, I can't see it. Got 10. 10? All right, that's not bad. Right, we got a purple one. We got a purple. Oh. We got a purple. Sven likes your purple. Noah Syndergaard, Kyle Wright, base, Blake Snell, Yusei Kikuchi, flashback, freshman flash. And was that it? Oh, that was the purple. Okay. Not numbered. That's just a, an insert. Okay. So 84, Yusei, Yusei Kikuchi, and Justice Sheffield, freshman flash, Kevin Kramer, Brian Anderson, which uh, we pulled that one of one for uh, Hobby a couple weeks ago. That's what he actually looks like. Tuki Toussaint, there's our favorite boy, Urban. There he is. Jose Urena and Dakota Hudson. Congratulations, LA. So just anybody asking or worried or anything like that, I literally went through every single tier of Patreon. So literally every single person is getting something tonight. So when I go through... I'll, I'll probably do the same thing for that 2011 Bowman Chrome box that I have. I think I'll have one person won't get a pack. So it'll be Santa that way. Savannah says hi. Hi. She's up. Oh, I think we have one of those hot rookie cards. Uh-oh. You see that short card in the middle there? Yeah. <gasps> That's what everybody's talking about. We might have a Vladdy here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, here we go. And who is this? Sorry, let me... Let me check this. Sorry, I'm taking it off screen. I promise I'm not doing anything. Oh, you better bring that back. Rob Manley. Rob Manley, good luck. Okay. So, we got a Corey Seager, 
Miguel Cabrera, the, the fa failure that he is at $300 million. <laughs> William Astadio, the big chunky. He's got a cool glove. Look at that glove, though, man. That's cool. Ka kind of looks like mine, but he's got a lot. He's, he's got that white base in the glove. That's cool. Lewis Brinson, Whit Merrifield, Eloy Jimenez, the horrible autographer, Josh Hader. Ah, uh, uh, was that it? Oh, William Astadio's Williams Astadio again is a refractor. Oh. Boom! Kevin Newman Blue Wave Auto. That is number to 150. Yeah. So congratulations. Rob, yeah. which one was that short print? Oh, it's the Eloy. Okay, so yeah, so there's three rookies that are short, shorter cut cards for whatever reason. I think they were inserted late into the production. And there, so it's the Eloy Jimenez, I think the Pete Alonzo, and the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So we're six down. What, two, three autographs in so far? And this is... Samantha McGee, S. McGee. Good luck, Sam. Hopefully you get a nice auto here. How about a, a one of ten? Or one of five? We've got a refractor coming up. Jake Cave. Boom. Lewis Brinson, refractor. Greatness Returns. Nolan Ryan, Shohei Atami. That's a sweet-looking card. Luis Severino. Dean Dietz. Victor Robles. He hit that. He caught that... Uh, he got that game, last catch of the, uh, what do you call it, game the other day that sent them to the uh, actual playoffs. David Fletcher and David Springer diving into home. That's glorious looking. He gets his helmet back there flying off. Cool. Congrats, Sam. All right, number eight is Alan Scott. Good luck, Alan. <sighs> yeah, so, Roger, the uh, Tops, for whatever reason, late inserted three rookies into, there's an Aaron Judge, into this set. And there's Vladimir Guerrero Jr., the uh, this is not Michael Kopech rookie, and Mike Trout, 84. Oh, 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 my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Do you know oh who that is? Future stars, awesome. I'm going to be a sneak here. I'm so oh sorry. I'm gonna... oh. No more Mazzara. Xander Bogarts. Ozzy Albies diving into whatever. Beautiful card. Reese McGuire. There's your boy. And we're going to go back to that autograph. I, oh, I know who it is. I can already tell. He is a Fernando Tatis Jr. Oh! autograph. Boom. That is a nice auto, too, man. Shut the front door. Nice. Well, congratulations. Oh, dude. I've got a couple of those. I think I pulled one out of... Uh, early tops i think or something i can't remember what series and i traded daniel daniel h uh, daniel hamilton sent me traded me uh several cards that, that that 74 gwyn rookie the 75 george brett rookie for it um so i, I was like oh, yeah you're getting this all right next up is hobby searcher Who got the good luck hobby searcher i think that's four i can't remember how many cards i'll have to go through i should have written down who these all were getting so i'm who so had sorry it? who had it uh Brandon Crawford, Danny Jansen, Kevin Newman, Kyle Seeger, Angie McCutcheon, Trevor Bauer, with Mary Field Refractor, Jake Bowers, Freshman Flash, Odebel Herrera, Edwin Diaz, Rowdy Telez. There's your big boy. He's a big boy, too, man. He might, he's not as big as, as uh, Vladdy, but he's a big boy. Hey, Boom Slang. Josh Donaldson. He's, uh, he's helping out. And Willie Adamas, he's helping. Hopefully, hopefully, if the uh, Braves can get something going here, um, he'll help carry the team with Freddie Freeman, as well as the rookie staff. Let me rewrite this one. Nine. One, two, three. Testing. You can. I can hear you. Oh, okay. Sorry, I wasn't sure. My 
for some reason, uh, the mute button was staying uh, grayed out when I unmuted myself. No worries. So next up, number 10 is Donald Blomdahl. Mm-hmm. I, think he's, I think he's at, I don't, I assume he's at church tonight. I don't know. I don't know what he does on Friday nights. He was live streaming today. I didn't get a chance to catch him. So, oh, we got two thick ones. Oh. Okay. Those are fun, man. Sean Reed Foley, rookie for the Blue Jays. Corey Kluber, Bryce Wilson. Fernando Tetti. Oh, so that was a short print, too. I think that's the short print, isn't it? No, I don't think so, man. Well, that Tatis, I saw, just looked it up. It's about $150 card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a short print. Because wow. look, so you can see this. This is the, again, looking at the numbers, that's 034369. That's the base card. So the one that we pulled for that, for, was it Allen? Is a, um, is a short print. Auto. Oh, look. A Juan Soto reverse negative. That is sick. Dude. Oh, boom. 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 Two more packs out of this first box. Oh, that's a sick one. Still base. Still base. Yeah. That's a gnarly box, man. That's that's some hits right there. Juan Soto, congratulations. Who was this? Was this Donald? Or no, who was this? This was ten, right? Yeah, ten. This was Donald. No, this was yeah, this was Donald. All right, next up is Taylor Belsham. Uh, I gotta leave right on this one because it's all Is it rubbing off? It's rubbing off, yeah. Must be I'm using, using a dry erase marker versus a permanent, so I'll probably have to go over. That's the problem. I need to go back over with a permanent. I've got them stacked in order, so it's it's not a problem. But you're using right. the Canadian Sharpie. Yeah, I need to use a Sharpie. No, uh-huh. you're using the Canadian one. Hey, Pete. See, it's fine here. Oh no, it's white. It's the dry erase marker's wiping off there too. All right. How you doing, Pete? What we got? What we got? Uh, I don't think we got anything in here. Oh, we got we got some cool colors. We got a refractor back there. Mookie Betts, Sean Manaya, who threw a new no hitter last year. Max Muncie, who drove in the winning home run or winning drive last night for the uh, for the Dodgers or today. I think it was last night. It was last night. Uh, Yamir Candelario, Brandon Belt, DJ Stewart, Isaiah Heiner, Falafa. Oh yeah, Falafa. 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 Oh, I thought that was an autograph right there with that 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 blue, Paul DeLong refractor, Scooter Gannett, Dansby Swanson. He had that uh, beautiful, beautiful what double last night that that brought him up. But then he, uh, of course, the Braves lost anyway. So you know. Hey, hobby. Kevin Kiermeyer, Kiermeyer, Aaron Nola, and Heath Fillmeyer. Hobby, you got a, you pulled a nice pack, I think. Pulled a nice pack for you. I gotta let me get my let me get my permanent marker because these uh Yeah, the tatis might end up going to me or something, you never know. No, no, no. It's it's in the right order, Frost, I promise. <laughs> Make sure I get this with Oh yeah, that's so much better. There you go. There you go. That's so much better. God. All right, let me get this can you learn by now. <laughs> Do what? You you should have learned by learned by now, right? I know. I normally so normally I'm writing on a pad, right? It's just yeah. I'm I'm writing on these for matter of convenience and oh. boom. That's all right. Philip was supposed to be here at eight, so I was trying to start late for him. Um, but uh, I'll go through I'll go through the packs in a minute and make sure everybody knows what they're getting. Uh, so next up is Philip. I might skip Philip for now. Just so he has a chance to see what he gets, because he did want to see what he got. Um, no, no, I'll, I'm just keep gonna keep going. Sorry, Philip, you have to catch it on the live on the on the brief flip. All right, so this is twelve. Okay, pack twelve. I think you got a nice hit, Hobby. Um, I'll check. Like I said, I'll check again in a minute. And then once this stream is once my section's done, we're gonna go back to. Uh, Oh, we got a purple there. I think that's a purple. Uh, no, it's, it looks like a future star one again. We got a Kyle Tucker rookie who's doing really well with the uh, Astros. Ian Desmond with Colorado. 
D. Gordon with the Mariners. So that's a cool looking card the way that's imprinted on there. I'd love to know how they do this. Chance Adams, another Kyle Tucker, 84. Oh, there's my boy Colby Allard, freshman flashback. Hopefully he's in the update set as a Ranger now. Manny Margot, Max Kepler, Cody Bellinger, and Josh Bell. Nice. So, all right, so this is the end of that first box. Two, three Yankees. Three, two Yankees. So the Yan Yankees are up three to two. Wow. Hey, dude, it, it can happen. Like, look at the look at the Braves game last night. Absolutely ridiculous. The Braves were up, what, 3-1? And then quickly, quickly faded. Not quickly faded. Like, they carried on. All right, so the last six packs... I gotta, I gotta keep track of this box to make sure that we get the uh, the five hits out of these six packs. I was so we were at a, a dinner um, for our daughter's school. All just all the parents, and they had like TVs all over the place, and they had the Braves on, of course. All right, this is pack thirteen. This is four. Dave Durango. Good luck, Dave Durango. He pulled that fire last night getting a uh, – hopefully I'm not ruining ruining what he did with his stream. Tuki just not rookie again. Labor Torres Refractor. I think that's a refractor. Uh, gold Cup card. Labor Torres and Derek Jeter. Greatness returns. Oh, my gosh. Boom. Purple. Purple Jalen Beeks, which is – Nah, it's only 250. You scared the living daylights out of me. Out of 250, yeah. That's high. I'll put that one in this. I have plenty of purples that I pulled this year. I'm trying to find my sleeves. I have them here somewhere. Ah, no, maybe. Oh, God, where are they? I'll get to it. I'll, I'll remember that. Pack 13 had that in there. Eddie Rosario, Kyle Schwarber, Jonathan Lois. I can't remember how to pronounce that. Lois Siga? Yeah, Lois Siga, I think. Jose Ramirez and Orlando Arcia. Yeah, I, I need to look up what happened to. Um, Last night's pitcher reliever, the uh, Richard Martin, who was the uh, brought in, it was a closer from the Rangers that they got for Kobe Allard. This is pack fourteen. Um, he hurt his arm somehow, so we got pack fourteen here, which is Jesse Burnett. Some kind of hit back there. Colin Moran, CNL Perez, Taylor Ward, Reese Hoskins. Wow, I don't know how to pronounce that. Taijon, Taiwan, Jose Arena, Tijuan. Okay, Jose Arena, Luis Arias, eighty-four. We got a blue wave. That's probably going to be an auto. Oh, wow. Blue is to 150. Red is out of five. Green is out of, I think, 125 or, or uh, 75. 99, yeah. It's weird how they do their production numbers. It's, it's so silly. Like, just stick with one numbering scheme. You know, and they think about it, the base card, the base card non-numbered autos are, God knows what, out of 5,000 maybe? All right, pack 15 here. Okay, Sharpie, and we have Oblique Strain. All right, so we are at Ripping for Ripkins. And next up is Thrill Pack Cards. 
who was my first Patreon way back when. All right, four packs after this one. Byron Buxton, Matt Boyd. Didn't look, we got anything? We got something. Oh, we have a short print? Oh, we do. We got something right there. Buster Posey. Vladdy. Nope, it's the Fernando Tatis again. So there's four, really. There's four really short print cards. Isn't he? Yeah, that's oh. Dakota Hudson. Did you get there Javier, yet? Javier Paez. Baez. Oh, yeah, Patrick Wisdom. I think he's with the uh, Rangers now, isn't he? Mm. Or was he with the Rangers beforehand? I'm pretty sure on the uh, newer cards, like the Bowman stuff, he is with, and I apologize, I'm not putting these in sleeves right now. I'll go through and put them in afterwards. Uh, Miguel Andahar, Clayton Kershaw, Tim Anderson. There's your boy Trevor Story, and Matt Olson. So what was that one? Oh, that was the autograph. Okay. That's funny. So, yeah, if somebody really wanted to and they had access to opening the boxes or whatever, you could absolutely go through and determine what had hits and what didn't. That's silly. Oh, yeah. Way crew? Okay. Interesting. Hey, uh, while I'm gonna take a break real quick, did you see this one, Urban? Yep, that came in. That was your, uh, last night, right? This came in today. I got this today. So this is different oh. than the other one. So this is one of the actual cards printed off of this badass. Excuse my language. So, so this is what you see. And that's uh, that's so I mean, like that's the completion of that circle right there. Wow! So that's so cool, man. And this one's numbered out of ninety nine. So obviously, certain numbered cards they would take from that that line. Mm -hmm. you, if you it, it's it's worthwhile for you to go. There's my sleeves. It's worthwhile for you to go look at the videos of Panini how they do it. And I'm sure Tops is the exact same thing. There's my sleeves. So. You know, they basically take a grid format of the, the items they're going to chop up and they have it in the different sizes that they're going to cut, right? From, from small like this, and it's a little bit bigger than that, really. Um, and they determine how many they can cut out of that jersey or whatever. And they basically have it into a uh, press mold with a hydraulic press. And it's basically a cutter box used for normal clothes making, right? <laughs> and they basically, it's a stamping sheet that has all the grid layout right and they put it on top of that jersey and bring in this hydraulic press and it clamps down and cuts them perfectly nice 16 it is very cool chris a 16 is thrill pack cards uh, but i wanted to show that to you so that number one of 99 versus the one of one and it has a similar part of the logo so i need to find some more of these from immaculate that have that that logo to complete that circle if I can. All right, good luck to Thrill Pack. This is what we've gotten two out of the five autographs. So we got three packs left. I'm hoping, hoping we pull everything. Ryan O'Hearn. What in the world is that? What is that? That Canon doing some smoking? Jake Sorry. Bowers, freshman flash. This vapor's blowing up. Yeah, it is. Nothing in that one. All right. Sixteen. Nineteen of twenty four. Seventeen is Michael Padgett. We've gotten two of the five autos out of these so far. So I'm curious. I mean, what do you think? If I, I'm still giving everybody a chance at something. Do you think it's fair if I keep those five for myself, or should I open them and just re-random 
There's five. Boom. Um, I think you should uh, maybe open them up, and then if there's anything good, just throw them along my way. <laughs> I mean, that's my thing. I was going to keep them for Patreon yeah. sub members. You still get somebody's still going to get something, right? It's just I like, I like that. Did you say proud members? <laughs> Patreon members. Oh, I thought you said Patreon proud members. <laughs> no, proud Patreon members, maybe. Yeah, but... There we go. All right, that was pack 17, which was – what did I say? Uh, just imagine what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I, I can't even imagine. So this was Michael Padgett. It didn't say Michael Padgett. So. Congrats, Michael. Yeah, congrats. Mailing – getting my shipments out hopefully. I got to I gotta go through everything this weekend and, and get everything finalized for next week. So have a nice little um, video on all of that and show all the boxes and everything like that. I probably should show the packing process of sealing and everything. I think that's – people like to see stuff. All right. Last two packs. Patreon Pirate is up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. See, El Elkanon didn't subscribe, so he's not part of this. Oh. Okay. He was talking. He was. He, he is thinking about subscribing, is my understanding. I know. I know. That's It's okay. We forgive you this time. Ooh, that's a gorgeous card. Nice. Hold on, I'm gonna put those down. I need to see. Oh, it's just, oh so that okay, yeah. So that one you can see this. So if you can see closely, uh -huh. this is the 84, right? That's the 84. And you can see the number variations here. So I can let me turn the light off real quick. Here. Can you see that? Probably better there. So you have put the camera back in, put the light back on a little bit. Okay, that's better. As long as I don't get that ring. Zero three. Zero three four three six nine is the base cards. This set is zero three four four one five, and then back to the base card. And then, of course, the refractors, the specific refractors, will say refractor up here, right? Right in that line. Let me put that one in a in a sleeve. Freddie Freeman in a sleeve because that's a nice card. And then once I get through this last pack, I'll I'll go through everything. That's okay, Lloyd. Hi. Hi, Savannah. So, Hi. Hey, Cam. Uh, we've been doing the giveaway. Um, For 10 hours. Are you, let me double check something. Hold on one second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop sharing for just a minute and look at my Patreon page. Hold on. I want to make sure I didn't miss somebody. I thought Cam bet was. Maybe I missed it. Four. Cam bet, what is your name, first or last name, so I know? Maybe I just, maybe you're in here and I just didn't realize it. Yeah, which giveaway, Cam? Because I'm doing the Bowman, the Topps Chrome giveaway right now. Oh, okay. Cam, what is your name so I know what your – give me your first or last name. I guess I could have looked at that. Hold on. Bear with me. Bear with me.
Right. Oh, okay. That's fun. I'm sure. Sure, boys. And oh, the shipping. Okay. There's not. I don't think Cam Vet is a Patreon member. Okay. Get back to this. I don't think I actually need to share that screen out, but. So we did Patreon. That's this pack I need to close up. Next is one cent. All right, let's finish up here. Michael Kopech, rookie. Trevor Bauer, Cano, Robinson Cano, and DJ Stewart. Uh, Cam, I'll probably be doing the actual 1,000 video. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. No, there's no pressure. For some reason, I thought you were a member already, a Patreon member. So I'll be, I need to just figure out what to give away for a thousand, for the thousand subs and um, go through that. So this is 19. This is to one cent cards. One of our great guys that buys into a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't know. Oh, no, no, it wasn't. Not that I know of. Normally, the, the numbered cards are. The colored cards. So this is one cent. I don't know if there's anything in there. So those five packs are definitely going to have the extra two autos. Aramis Garcia. Ooh, wow. That's a nice Carly Stremski, Andrew Benatendi. Wow. Max Kepler, Cody Bellinger, Josh Bell, Albert Pujols. And Runed, is it Runed? Runed Odor? How would you say that? Yeah, rough. You're rough ridered. Yeah. All right, so I mean, I'll go through these and get that. So that's that. This I'm gonna go through these and make sure that these first eight packs are correctly labeled because I'm sure that what do you call it marker is just fading off. So I'm gonna switch it over to you real quick while you so you can do start your break. All right. That's okay. To heck with authority. Char Wizard. Mm -hmm. What do you think that'll grade at? It's something fun. It's something fun to open. I think Jab, Jab's opened a ton of those, and I think they're the, like the 2007 Phillies World Series cards. So, yeah, I think so.
Yeah, it is. I can hear you fine. Savannah was telling you yes, too, but I had my mic muted. <laughs> That's so weird. All right, so now it looks like it's working correctly. Michael Kopech. Chad Bettis. Uh, Pedro Strop. Los Angeles Dodgers. I, do, I wish they wouldn't make these cards anymore, honestly. I don't like the team <laughs> cards. Just yeah. What don't you like about them? Miguel Cabrera, because they just... Messes up the order. I don't care about them, that's what. Derek Rodriguez. What if it was autographed by the stadium? <laughs> I, okay, what stadium are you going to find to autograph it? I don't know. Groundskeeper, maybe? Yeah, a, a groundskeeper from the stadium? Yeah. That's not a bad idea. That would be actually pretty cool. They, they should it would actually see. be pretty cool. No, it would not be cool. It would be another uh, individual that they can put into a product that nobody cares about. Like umpires? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can see. There's a little Jerry Lane back there. Nobody cares about. Like, that's fine. I have one. No, it's not for me. It's for it's one of my Patreons. Oh, okay. All right. So you got you to pack It'll be that coming out. out this weekend, yeah. Fine. Um, Ryan Braun. Uh-oh. Uh, triple play. Adrian Gonzalez, Josh Johnson. Yeah, I've never opened Triple Play before. That's a what two. Play is that? Those are awesome, huh? What year is this? Uh, these are. That's a good question from Triple Play. I didn't even look at the year. Uh, it's red. Does it say somewhere on here the year 2012? 2012. Okay. So I gotta say, your lighting is pretty decent in this room, because the primate sticker. That primate demon looks yeah, red. Yeah, looks very red. Yeah. It looks yeah. red, right? In person, it looks red. Yeah. Okay. Well, it definitely looks more red through the camera, though. It does. On this one, which is weird. <laughs> truth. Uh, that is so far from the truth. The, the triple play set is the <laughs> second worst most horrible set in existence the best set that ever existed truth said and everyone's entitled to that opinion i agree no it's not a great one <laughs> i agree <laughs> but i'm just kidding be cold, you know. headley goldschmidt first bake i mean come on <laughs> look at that dude doesn't it look like uh uh what's that dude from adult it looks Swing? like that austin hayes uh uh what do you call it card that everybody makes fun of this year oh i actually haven't seen that card seen it like it's it's an artist rendition right so it's like uh uh god what series is it from tops and it's it's basically they're all drawings all the cards are drawings uh. austin hayes card is looks like a deformed monkey <laughs> yeah i think i did see that i think you were showing uh, it probably uh, i think somebody on their on their oh. account has it i missed a pack in here so 2013 pinnacle See what's in this guy. Houston Street. Now that guy was a closer for the ages, was he not? He was an amazing closer, especially with the Rockies. He had like the uh, he led the league in closes that year. Hey, truth. Darren Ruff. Look at that. That's like interesting texture. Hi, truth. Huh, cool. It's true. It's truth. Snap it to a sun gym. Oh, sweet. There's the Yadier Molina. That's a pretty cool card. That's a nice acetate. Yeah, I like that a lot. And Yadier, man, he's popular. He sells well. Tops Gallery. Okay. okay. So Tops Gallery that has the Austin Hayes that looks like a deformed monkey. It is the, it is, it is an ugly card. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm excited about that Yadier, though. That's a cool card. Hey, Ron, how many of the Paw Patrols do you want? All right, what um, is one, our... or, one or two, not many. It's just one or two to. Now what will happen is she'll get it, and she'll eat it over the course of a week or two, and then she'll be like, "I need more," and then I'll have to like, uh, "Can you find some more?" All right, so I have a graded card. Okay, graded card. Ooh, it's a ten. Whoa! It's a ten. Whoa! Is that a Bryce that Harper? Harper? Nice. Wow. Queen, what, 15? That's what? I'm sorry? Is it a Gypsy Queen 15? Uh, I don't know how to tell. Yeah, 2015. Okay. Yeah, it's not a bad card. Hammered 10 of his 13 home runs in 2014 as well. 
for a hey to get a Bryce Harper that's graded gem mint pen, that's pretty sweet. Yes, it is. Ooh, what did ooh, what did Harper? Uh, hold on, Urban sent me something in my pack here. <laughs> I know. Pretty legit. So oh, it's a bit melted, my friend. It's melted. <laughs> did it? Did you get some yeah, of that? A little bit, it, dude. It's a hundred degrees down here. Canadian chocolate. Put it in the freezer. I will. I will. Before I let my daughter have it, I will. So sorry. Back to you, sir. Oh no, that's quite all right. All right. So I'm I'm pretty stoked on that. It's a cool card to get. It so, is. I'm happy with that. So everybody that said that was a terrible pack or a terrible box, I disagree already. Unfortunately. I mean, I think it depends on what you're looking to do long term and everything like that. Yeah. You know, if, if you're if you're looking for just hits or is this a new is this a new headset? This is a new uh, new collector's item that they have put out. Uh, it's the Turtle Beach uh, mystery box. Okay. Hey. Oh, smarty. <laughs> <laughs> so. This is Super's Breaks. He's got two breaks that he's bought, 2018 Tops Archives and a 2018 Tops Holiday Box. So we're going to crack into these. Do you want me to do these now, or do you want me to wait until you uh, you do something for me? No, go for it, man. All right, let's 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 see what's in these suckers. Good luck to you, Super. You're um, getting any time here, man. Just extend it out as much as you want. Let's do it. All right. So uh, I don't know if he's in this stream. Which one do you want me to open first? Super. I know he's in my stream. Uh, archives or holiday box? I only have three people in my stream, but I'm just trying to get those hours up. Gunner, enough whining, dude. You don't need to whine at me. All right, he didn't tell me, so I'm just going to go after whichever one I uh, I feel is good. So, we'll dump in, jump into the archives because I've never opened one before, and I'm excited to see what's in these from 2018. Have you guys ever opened a 2018 archives? Good luck, Super. Hope you hit something massive. Good luck, Super. Nothing in. Good luck, Super. Here's your little coins. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to pick up some of those holiday boxes. One or two of those holiday boxes. Actually, were you sending me a holiday? Somebody was sending me. Oh, it was it was uh, Autistic Family was sending me the holiday box. Oh, nice. Yeah, I have uh, four, so I think two are in a break. One just got sold, and I'm keeping two. I need uh, to so go. I, I need to go to Walmart. It's only Walmart that has them, right? I believe so. Yes. Yeah, I don't think Target has a specialty. I think place I found it. Target has like Mega Box or something. Well, look at that. We'll turn it around for a little Shohei Otani rookie. How about that? That's nice. Uh, Larry Dobby, Omar Garcia Pata. YouTube is so behind. Brooks Robinson, nice. The only other third baseman that may have rivaled Nolan Arenado. Whitey Ford, Bob Gibson, Ernie Banks. There's a Trevor Story. I like that guy. But I'm going to throw your show high into a sleeve real quick. I like that rookie. That's nice. That's super nice. Yeah, let's see if we can get a, an Acuna. That'd be real nice too, huh? It's really difficult to get into the sleeve. All right, Scott Kingery, rookie. Whit Merrifield. Tyler Wade. Steven Strasburg. Ricky Henderson. Here we've got three. Victor Robles, Andrew Stevenson, and Eric Feed. I believe that's how you say it. I've never heard that name. Dominic Smith, another rookie. And Monte Irvin. All right, pack number three. My 
Mike Zunino, Josh Donaldson, Nicholas Castellanos, Tim Anderson, Brandon Belt for the Giants. Uh, this is a turning back. Wow. Willie McCovey from the Giants with his 500 career home run. It ended with a hard-fought loss to the Brown. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's interesting, though. It was... And uh, Reese Hoskins rookie. Nice. I'll sleeve it just because these are penny sleeves, and they're only a penny. Gunter! Gunter! <laughs> Yelled in my mic, or in my uh, headphones, and I dropped the pack. <laughs> Sorry. Who's a good boy, Gunter? Who's, Who's a Reno? good boy? Luis Severino. Yeah, he's been whining and running around all day. Brad Ziegler. Oh, wow. Mike Trout rookie card. Are you kidding me? It's a reprint archive, right? Oh, yeah. It's a reprint. Look, look at the detail yeah. on it. Look at the back. Like, Come on. Back. All right. It has to be. Does it, say re it should say reprint. Yeah. 2018 Tops Company. Uh, yeah. It doesn't say reprint anywhere. It just says 2018, but I don't know why. Yeah. Obviously, it is a reprint. Cause... Look at the corner. It's got that archive logo on it, right, up there in the corner? No, it just says Tops, Tops Rookie History. Okay, yeah, yeah so it's, it's a reprint. Yeah, it's, a rookie it's a cool card. It is. I'm still going to sleep. Why? Hey, it's a Cano, Max Scherzer. I was like, how is that even possible? Obviously, hey, I... it's archive. That's why it would be possible. How are you doing tonight, Isaac? Yeah, that's super irritating. Stop it, Gunner. You don't need to whine. You have everything going for you. You have just about the sweetest life any dog could have. Right. Yeah, it's truth. I think that stands for any card out there in existence that's of high dollar. Like, yeah. Chris Sale. You're a Joey. Is it Joey Gallup? Is that who you're a fan of? Sean Sutton. Ooh, that's a cool Sutton. That's numbered to 175. Nice. Good luck. Good, good. That's that nice. That is a swanky little pull right there. I like that sucker. Hey, I've got the actual 71 card here next to me. Really? And I think that one looks a lot better. That's a cool looking card. Yeah, numbered 13 of 175, so it's a low number, too. Nice. Congratulations. Yeah, very nice pull. Take that one any day of the week. Sheboygan. Uh, Kevin Kier Oh, I did these ones already. Ichiro and Daniel Mengden. Two more packs. Yeah, check your focus because it keeps refocusing on you. Does it? Okay. Yeah, I think it's it's all the it's that uh yeah, I got who's number thirty so in the background. Everything <laughs> everywhere around. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the uh, what's his name number thirty in the background that's focusing on the most, I think. Oh, Terrell Davis. Yeah, Terrell Davis. Yeah. yeah just cover him up. Red Sean Dice. Hoyt Wilhelm. Phil Rizzuto. And Dave Winfield. Jimmy Fox. Oh, I love that. Benny the Jet Rodriguez from the Sandlot. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. I love that card. Alex Rodriguez and John Gray. One of my personal Ooh. faves. Yep. There's a lot of people that don't like John Gray, and that's fine. No, no, no. Alex Rodriguez. Oh, okay. He's a bum. Yeah, I, uh, sure. Hey, Cam, what's up? All right, this is the last pack in your archive 2018. Good luck. Dansby Swanson, Ozzy Albies, rookie. Um, and Drelton Simmons, Walker Bueller, rookie card. That's going to get sleeved for sure. Especially after last night's Good performance. Good night. That was filthy, wasn't it? Yes. That was sick. That that, that uh, Twitter post you did. Yeah, I know. That overlay was an absolute. Oh, my God. Card. Chipper Jones. Cam, I had to remove uh, a lot of mods because what happens is apparently we don't get – if mods are watching our streams, we don't get counted towards our watch time. 
so I removed, I think, 90% of my mods uh, just a little bit ago. So I apologize. It wasn't anything about you or anything like that. I think I literally have, like, Austin Farmer, who's a mod everywhere, two or three total. That's it. So I just needed to remove, re reduce everybody for watch time. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I did the same thing, so I don't want you guys to worry uh, that if I took you off as a mod, it's not that I don't like you. It's just that, you know, we are trying to get our watch times up, so that's how it goes. Yeah, you're muted for some reason, UCB. All right, let me go through the hits for that box real quick. Your rookies. Dominic Smith, Scott Kingery, Reese Hoskins, Hank, uh, Ozzy Albies, Walker Bueller, the Mike Trout reprint, and the Shohei Otani, which I think was the best rookie pull. Is it Shohei or Shohei? I always call it Shohei. Maybe Shohei. I don't know. Either way. I, I have no clue. Hank Aaron, uh, which is a card I like a lot because Hank Aaron is one of my faves for sure. Absolutely, Cam. His, his story is just awesome. Um, they need a Jet Rodriguez from the Sandlot. I wouldn't want to get any other card from the Sandlot than this one. Uh, that's not true. I want them all, but I love Benny the Jet. And then uh, Don have, Sutton yeah. from the Dodgers. I have, um, what's his name? Uh, the, the, the chubby one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have that one. I can, if, I'll, if I can find it, I'll send it to you. So. What was that kid's name? I can't remember. I'm not collecting them. I just think they're cool looking. That's fine. Hey, Urban, you have yourself muted, so if you're trying to talk, you need to mute yourself. Yeah, that last pack was pretty good, Super. Uh, got some good rookies for you in there. And I'm also responding to the chat in my stream, so sorry, guys. <laughs> and hi, Mountain on. Gorilla. All right, so here's the uh, 2018 holiday box. Good luck on this one. I hope you pull the rookie of Cunha. Bats down, Metallic. That would be Legitsky. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you, Savannah. All right, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Fingers crossed, Super. This one's for you, buddy. Steven Strasburg, Corey Kluber, stop doing horizontal cards, please. Brandon Crawford, Tony Moncada, Will Myers, Ronaldo Lopez, Nick Kingham, rookie, Michael Brantley. Is that, I'm way too high. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. D. Gordon, and I don't mean, I don't mean it the way you heard it. <laughs> and Jose Altuve. Have a good weekend. Is that for everyone, Savannah? Thank yeah. you. I plan on it. Brian Dozier. Charlie Blackman. Gene Segura. Carlos Correa. Alex Verdugo. And it is Metallic Alex Verdugo. Giannis Cespedes, Ian Kinsler, and Brian Buxton. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I thought that was the last card. I have like two more in here. Billy Hamilton and Manny Margot. All right, I'm going to sleeve the Verdugo up. My mother says hello, Savannah, and she hopes you have a good weekend, too. Thank you. All right, pack number two. All right, we've got a Chris Sale. Miguel Andujar, rookie card. Sean Newcomb. Jay Bruce. Mike Trout, Wilson Contreras, Adubel Herrera, Trey Kimbrell, Chris Davis, and Robbie Ray. That's kind of a dud pack. 
but there is a guaranteed auto patch or patch auto in here. So one of those three you can get. Ian Happ, Gregory Polanco, the Mookie, Dustin Fowler, rookie card. We've got Christian Yelich. Nice. That is a metallic Christian Yelich. Not a sleep. What was Christian Yelich's rookie year, by the way? Victor Robles, rookie card. Starlin Castro, Daniel Murphy, Chris Bryant, and James Talon. Talon, I don't know how to say his last name. Is it pack number four or five? Pack number five. Halfway through. Ryan Zimmerman. Josh Hader, Anthony Rendon, Miguel Cabrera, James Paxton, Lance McClure's, McClure's, <laughs> Yadier Molina, Matt Kemp, Josh Donaldson, and we got a Domingo Santana. Four. Or no, that was the fifth pack. Yeah, so we got five packs left. Twenty thirteen, yeah, twenty thirteen was Yelich's rookie. Okay, there's a Chris Archer, Cody Bellinger. Come on, it's like impossible to get this thing to focus correctly. He wants to focus on the devil. All right, Cody Bellinger, Justin Smoke, Lewis Brinson, rookie. Here we have a Elvis Andrus. That is a metallic. Matt Chapman, Matt Davidson, Corey Dickerson, Trevor Bauer, and Evan Longoria. My guy Trevor Story, Felix Hernandez, Justin, Later, Cam. Justin Berlander, Carlos yeah. Martinez, Alex Gordon. Oh, no. I'm so sorry about that. Both of those slipped. Our, Albert Pujols, Lorenzo Not Cain. Not PSA 10 now, man. I know. Chance Cisco, Geraldus Chapman. Don't worry. There was nothing valuable in there anyways. To somebody Ooh. it might be. To somebody. Every card is worth something to somebody. Right. Hey, truth, yeah. Once, once uh, I'll there. always be streaming no matter what. So. Okay. Gary Sanchez on the back. Let's see what we got here. Zach Granke. Oh, shit. All right. Zach Granke. Syndergaard. Start out with the pitchers again. Justin Upton. Joe Maurer. Here we've got a Marcus Stroman Metallic. Eric Hosmer, uh, Andrew Benatendi, Jake Arrieta, Adam Jones, and Gary Sanchez. All right, two more packs for that Acuna. Two more packs. Good luck. I really hope you pull this Acuna. I want to pull you some fire. All right, Austin Hayes, rookie card. Clint Frazier, rookie card. All right, and here's Car Carlos Correa, your hit with the patch. Carlos Correa. Looks like a piece of bat. That's pretty cool. I like the bat patches more than I like any of the other ones, to be honest with you. So, wait. How are you live streaming and live streaming through mine? Uh, because I'm a genius, that's why. <laughs> I, you're going to have to tell me, because... Um, so, it's pretty simple. All I did was pull up your YouTube live stream. 
Uh, oh, no, that's not what I did. Carlos Correa. Uh, I pulled up just our stream from StreamYards, and then I zoomed in and gotcha. uh, pulled it in as a screen capture. So you're streaming from within the stream. Correct. Gotcha. Christian Yelich. Christian Yelich, Trey Turner, Jesse Winker, and Andrew McCutcheon, followed by Eugenio Suarez. Last pack. We can hope for some last pack magic. Fingers crossed. The Acuna is going to be here. Rafael Devers, rookie. Aaron Nola. Come on. Focus again. <laughs> Just want to focus on everything else but the... There we go. Aaron Nola. Rick Portello. Sean Manea. Mike Moustakas. Metallic. Uh, Tommy Pham. Jorge Solher. Adrian Beltre. And another Walker Bueller rookie card. Yeah, Isaac. Very sweet. You got both Rocker, Walker Buellers because that uh, is a obvious. One of them is a short print for sure. That's pretty sweet. I'll take the Walker Buells any day of the week. Uh, yeah, especially after last night. So, unfortunately, no Acuna for you, but I'll get these uh, rookies into sleeves, and I'll throw these all into a package and get them mailed out to you on Monday. Um, so, yeah, got a few Walker Bueller rookies for you and uh, some other cards. So, uh, uh, that, uh, what's his face? Shohei. How do you say it? I say it's Shohei. Shohei Otani. I'm going to go put my kid my daughter down, so if you can continue your little conversation for a minute. Okay. I'll be right back. Not a problem. Uh, so yeah, hey, I'll, Isaac. I'll get these uh, sleeved up and mailed out to you. So thanks for uh, buying in, Super. Uh, sorry we couldn't get you the Acuna, but if it's any consolation, I've opened several of these and still have not gotten the Acuna. On the other hand, Urban opens one, and there's the Metallic Acuna. So, mm -hmm. yeah. First pack. Both unbelievable. Regular yeah. and Metallic. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. even understand how that's possible, man, but good for you. And I think I pulled, what, five or six, maybe? Five of them, maybe? Yeah, you pulled a ton. I was amazed. That's right. You'll get them. It'll happen to one. Yeah, it'll happen. Just got to keep opening them. I and mean, this is the first uh, holiday box break I think I've done. Okay, so I'm going to leave these ones aside, and then I'll do a little recap of your rookies, your metallics, and your hit. Wish that hit was an auto, um, but once again, I see very few autos out of holiday. Very, I've only seen two, I think. I, I pulled one, and that yeah. was for Dan. Yeah. So we got the Raphael Devers rookie, Clint Frazier, Austin Hayes, Chance Sisko, Lewis Brinson, Victor Robles, Austin Flower, Dustin Fowler, sorry, Miguel Andujar, Nick Kingham, Walker Bueller, Elvis Andrus, Mark Stroman, Mike Moustakas, Christian Yelich, Alex Verdugo, and Carlos Correa. Very cool. I thought we pulled a second Walker Bueller in... Didn't we pull one that was just... Or was it in the other set? I think it was in the other box that I opened. Yeah, Walker Bueller rookie there. Cool, so you got one from each set. That's pretty sweet. And the Don Sutton from the Dodgers. So I'll get those sent out next week, and I uh, appreciate you buying in. So once again, if you guys want to buy into any of these breaks, you're welcome to check out my website, elkinonbreaks.com or ellunchbreaks.com. But uh, on uh, if you want to get into any of Primant's, I believe uh, you want to check out his Patreon. That's a really good place to start. Primant's got an awesome Patreon and uh, treats his uh, Patreon followers well, so... Uh, get in there if you can. Are you going to be opening anything tonight, Urban? Urban, you going to break something, right? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. Dude, it, it's your time, unless you want to go live on your stream. Um, 
you know what? I, 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 I'm just enjoying you guys. It doesn't matter to me. We did one cent. I still need to figure out why the uh, why I can't stream from Streamlabs on my phone, or why I can't change the resolution on my YouTube live. So I have to do some research on that. Hey, Ron. Yes, sir. Question for you: um, Were you the one mentioning to me Bernard Gilkey for someone? Uh, yeah, it's a joke for uh, Austin for uh, Austin or uh, autistic family cards, Jonathan. Oh. Okay. Um, later on, if you have, if you remember, just send me his uh, info. If you don't mind. Yeah, just... absolutely. You need his email, or is, you want his shipping address? Uh, shipping, if you don't mind. Okay, that's fine. Thanks. Yep. All right. Um, um, I don't know what to break tonight. Do we? Uh. Hi, legit. How you doing, man? You got anything? You got those hockey cards you've been breaking? You want to? Cabbage Patch Kids. Cabbage Patch Kids. Up to you. Do you Which honestly have Cabbage play? Patch Kids? Because I want to see that. No. Oh, I should. Have. I just got so, like, bummed out. <laughs> that's, what was the other one you said, Ron, we could do? Uh, you had those Tim Hortons, right? Yeah, I've still got Tim Hortons packed if anybody's interested. Yeah, I can. Me, uh, me I kind of want to see the ones you bought today. Did you open those already? I think you opened um, them. I only bought one. I bought the... Um, whatchamacallit uh the gallery ah. yeah but i got a nice one out of the gallery i got actually a few good ones out of the gallery so now i gotta like move my shipping stuff over now because i'm on the spot here i know i know it's terrible oh i've been packing you don't understand <laughs> tons of stuff i just want it off my desk you got to clear it out right so it just feels good once it's all gone I haven't forgotten about everybody so just uh it's all right so there's um if you can see that Actually, I love this. I'm sorry. I, I think this is much better than that other one. There's the one I pulled from uh, Gallery today. That's out of 50. Oh, cool. Stanford. Bye, Sue. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it, Mom. See you, Sue. Um, so, yeah, if anybody wants, I've got the nice, uh, my little kind of want to be break mat right now but i do have some timmies if anybody's interested in some timmies you can do some timmies uh mountain is mountain in here yet did he stop in uh he's been in and out of my stream so i'm not sure if he popped over to yours or not okay because i've got the uh i've got to open his 93 as well um i wasn't prepared guys you're putting me on the spot here that's all right man do, 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 do. I see what we can do. Something we can do a, a hobo break, as, as pirate calls it. Um, depends on what people's flavor is. Like we could do baseball, we could do hockey, basketball. I can do an '87 or an '88 tops football. Even yeah. though I know I recently broke broke uh, some football, so that was cool. It's whatever you think will be entertaining, because you know, I, I just uh, you don't have to break anything either. You can just sit here and chat. <laughs> but obviously breaking something would be better. Yeah, if anybody wants in on something too, let me know. Just trying to think what I can uh... Yeah, Urban's been working on his website and so he should have that thing up uh this weekend he said. Be cool. Just so people can see, cuz Urban did get a new webcam, he did show it to me. Uh Urban, if you'll tilt it forward a little bit so we can see how much clearer everything is. It, it really is. Like that's awesome. Like, I can see the autograph. Yeah. Yeah, it's far better than it was. Yeah. It's great. Oh, Mountain is here. Look hey, that. Mountain. How you doing, man? So, we, we can test out the... Uh... Hey, oh, Mountain. I'm probably going to be buying a couple of extra to do the multiple webcam feature. Yeah. Might have to get in on that, too. So... I normally buy, try to buy them uh, off Amazon when they're on sale or, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, warehouse. Yep. So Mountain has some packs. So Mountain, do you want us to open these up right now for you?
And I tell you, this box of little um, team bags with people's names on them, what fantastic way of organizing. Because otherwise, I'd be throwing cards in a pile. I'm like, who wanted this? So if I do this light here, there we go. That's yeah, just glare. That's actually pretty good. Do it. All right. Mountain says do it. Let's get a Jeter. One cent. What's going on? Man, I'm still so stoked about that Bryce Harper. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty good card to pull out of that thing. So I, I guess my question is because I was under the impression that the, the BCCG, the, the Beckett Collectors Club, yeah, um, they rate the, the grading a little bit different. Is that correct? Yeah, it's not going to be considered as high, or they might give you a 10, where if you go through BGS or PSA, it's a 9. Okay. Or or, letter, or lower? Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's more so just for people that just want it in the slab more so, right, I think? Yeah, I can already tell they're lax, more lax on their grading, because the corners are not as good or as sharp as a 10 should be at yeah. all. Oh. Toronto scored. That'll randomly go off when the Toronto or Detroit Red Wings uh, score. Are you serious? You have it like hooked up to Wi-Fi so it knows? Yeah. Dude, are you kidding me? That thing is awesome. I'm serious. <laughs> so yeah, um, he said that I will be giving. Lot, but... Just so you guys know, put the word out there. I will be giving one away for my 1,000 sub. Everybody, please subscribe to Urban right now. No joke. I want that thing, and if any of you challenge me on it, I'm going to fight you. There's a nice Mark McGuire. And then we'll get everybody using them in their streams. There we go. Start the trend. Oh, I better put that out, too. All right. So here we go. Oh, nice Maddox, Smoltz, Glavin, and Avery. Oh, this is going to be a nice card. Oh, yeah. Isn't that sweet? Tell me that's not the best of pitching right there. Beautiful card. Rich Becker. Oh, a double. Look at that. What do we got here? We got one of these again. Definitely worth the sleeve. Okay, I see now. So on the BCCG, they say 10 mint or better. So, in other words, they don't even have to hit the gem mint. They just have to hit the mint. I don't know if gem mint is just a saying that PSA came up with or something. Or Beckett. Stop the mint. Ooh, look at that. That's nice. Sweet. It's a nice Mark McGuire. I'm going to turn what is one with the windows slightly more towards something. Let's see if that helps. There we go. Beautiful Mark McGuire. All right. Next pack. Yeah, my wings haven't even played yet. I'm getting anxious. I watch her first. And I got to do it outside. That's that's the thing here in our household. The TV comes in after we watch at least one of the uh, Detroit uh, games. Usually the opener. All right. So what's the plans for everybody for the weekend? I was planning on taking my folks up to the mountains to do a little razor trip, but my mom's hip is still killing her, and so she doesn't want to jostle it around, so we're canceling yeah. that. I'll have to postpone it to some other time. You probably didn't see it in my live stream today, but I did make sure to catch my mom's cane in the live stream just because she just started using it like a month ago. I just <laughs> I can't stop making fun of her for it. Yeah, no, I, I know. My, uh, well, my mom, well, she's legally blind, right, so she... Um, She's got her stick. Yeah. I, uh, I just, I, you know, 
it's kind of a way to, to, to have people move out of the way, I tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure. Move, beep. Get out the way. Get out the way. Mama's coming through. Mark Grease. Oh, the Dodgers are playing again tonight? I didn't realize yeah. that. It's a best of three, right? So get it over quick. Well, yeah, Play. but I thought they they would switch off every other day with the American. Yeah, I think they go two and two, and then the last one, if okay. they go, we go back to the original team. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Jeter. Okay, your, your image quality got a little fuzzy. I think you're going to have to get rid of that uh, the Detroit logo. I think that's what's doing it. Yeah, I'm going to take the autofocus feature off. <coughs> Well, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'll never use the webcam like that again. Is that better, or did it? Uh... It's autofocusing. It's just having. It's struggling to autofocus a little bit. Okay. It's still good. I, I can see it. It's much better. Camera, come on, you can autofocus. Come on. Maybe, maybe get the packs and the stuff in the upper corner out of the way as well. Yeah. Try that. Try those as well. There you go. Better. Yeah. Yeah. What about lighting? No. The halo. Um, Unless I keep it over. Maybe bring it up closer. That's what I always do, is I keep them close. You have it set at 1080p, or what do you have it set at? Uh, I, you know what? Honestly, I haven't even touched the settings. I just plugged it in. Okay. And it worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just using... You're just native in here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. you can change it from your settings in StreamYard. Oh, okay. So you're, oh, you you're know in, what? Let your try that. resolution in StreamYard right now will only go up to 720. Oh, that's why. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Look at that. Try that. Is that better? I just changed it. I think so. Looks better already to me. I don't know. Yeah. It was defaulting to 480. Right, once it goes to, yeah, that's what it does. Once we can do 1080 through StreamYard um, or whatever we choose, um, it'll do higher quality. And it won't so, be what do you think? I think with StreamYard, I think we're, we're each going to have to pay from what I can understand and uh, gather. I don't think they're going to give any discounts for a group by the looks of it. There's well, I mean, nice... that's the point of it, right? So, one person can host six people. Yeah. And then we just share the login information or whatever yeah. and update. That, uh, it'll be interesting because if you see it, we have to literally manually go in and we'd have to change or create multiple channels. Mm hmm. From there, let me look it up while I'm doing this. But that's that's doable though. We just yeah. enter a different right. broadcast, right? That's all. So add, yeah, so I can just add a destination channel, and do your YouTube. And you have to you'd have to log into yours, right? And we'd have to be nice and not log into other people's, right? Oh. And um, yeah, it's it's whatever. Like I'm I'm fine with whatever. Yeah, that's why it has to be shared with a very trustworthy group of people. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, box. Do not let your stream key get out, people. And if it does, go and refresh it right away so you can change it. Absolutely. And reset your password yep. account to make sure. Accuracy. Pass to the live is done. Who else oh. is streaming? Uh, Jabs, I think. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. That that makes more sense. Breaks is uh, live, too? Breaks is live. Kept wondering He's why doing... we had so few people in here. Yeah, we had a lot. Yeah. But Jabs is going live here soon, or was. Well, that's nice. All right, I'll be right back. No worries. Yep, Jabs is live now. Is he uh, doing Kahoot tonight? <laughs> now I got I've got one five year old and I tell you oh, I'm, in, I'm in big trouble, big trouble. Oh yeah, no we uh, I have two girls, and if it's the oldest one is already a handful. The youngest one, I think I told you when we got ice cream, I gave her ice cream last night, right? Yep. She, she'd never had ice cream, and I gave her a taste of it. You know, and she normally doesn't like the spoon or, you know, us feeding her with a spoon. She likes feeding herself. 
And of course, she's trying to grab into the ice cream bowl and, and grab it, and she doesn't understand that it melts. <laughs> so she started screaming at me because she wanted more. <laughs> it's like, my God. Chill out, little thing. That's hilarious. Savannah has the coconut uh, cream pie little piece for her dessert today. Mark McGuire, that's another nice mark right there. Oh, Burke. Tomato cream. Accuracy. Oh, that's a nice pocket. Let's see, do we have another rookie in here? Uh, nope. All right, last pack magic. We we did not get a, a Jeter. This is probably, hopefully this is it. Sorry, I don't have my front camera, guys. Wasn't you there. are fine. A little crunchy. That's okay. All right. Last pack magic. Kirby, Kirby Puckett. Wow. When did Andre Dawson retire? Must have been right around here. 94, 95, probably, maybe 96. Okay. He started in what, 77? Something like that? 17 years at in 92. So, yeah, wow. Yeah, so 75 then. Really. Yeah. So really yeah. yeah. 76, I think it was his first card. Barry Bonds. Mr. Bonds. Oh, Matola. Look at that, they're partying over here. Mr. Matt Williams, Mr. El Canon's player. Yep, that, that, he likes that card. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. And it's a double. All right. What do we got here? Oh, I want to post here. Alvarez. And Juan Gonzalez. Wow. I'm a little disappointed, but got some good cards. Some good Hall of Famers. <laughs> Peter. So you know what that means? I think it's going to be... I th I think now we need to find a Jeter. <laughs> what have you guys been paying for your 89 upper decks? Boxes? Uh, I got a good deal on mine, my low number ones, at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. um, they're going for like 200 bucks now. A low number high number is high number i was able to pick a lot up several of them up for below un, un, uncertified on bbce for uh probably 80 75 80 uh, but now i think they're hitting like 120. Huh. My, you, if you look carefully you could probably find deals on them on ebay but yeah yeah i looked today and i found some pretty good deals but i'm sure they'll go up I did see a few of them settle around uh, under 100, so. For high number or low number? For high number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So high number is not bad, right? Because you get the high number, you get the chance of high number cards. You have less of a chance of the Griffey, right? You still have a chance. Right. Uh, I opened three high numbers at the beginning of this year and didn't pull a single Griffey. 
I've opened two boxes of low number, and I think I've pulled, what, four Griffies now? Wow. So, wow. It's significant. All right, Mountain, I just took out some of the better doubles. So those were going to go to Isaac, correct? Go. Now, I have to um, ask a question, Ron. Uh, I have a case of a particular product. Okay. I'm debating whether or not I want to crack it. Dollar ninety nine product or something else? Something else. Here's what I love about Urban. I, I got I to gotta jump in. I love that everything is like a mild secret. <laughs> like everything no. he has is like, ah, I'll give you I some of the information. I understand oh. why. I mean, I, I get do it. Too. I'm not. I'm not saying anything. It's just funny to me. <laughs> I had a friend like that in oh. college, and man, we would mock him mercilessly for. He'd text all the time. Would never tell us what who he was texting, and then, like, he would wake up early in the morning on a weekend and call us from Colorado. We were going to college in, in Nebraska, and he'd drive out to Colorado and go snowboarding for the day and just call us. Wow. Hey, we're out. I'm out here. <laughs> okay. Was he filthy rich? Oh yeah, he's wealthy. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna interlude here real quick. So I've been talking about tacos and burritos for a while, and I've been talking about that place that makes really phenomenal place uh, burritos called Bell Street Burrito. Mm. I, I got my wife to finally go get me some uh, on the way home today, and I just reheated my chicken one, and oh my god, <laughs> I'm I'm in heaven. Uh. Let me let me pull this up real quick for you so you can see it. It was like a it's like a little baby. Like it's it's freaking huge, man. Oh yeah, heck yeah. Oh, my um, God. So that's... tender. Um, pull this one up so we can all there we go. Yesterday my sister and I went and got Cajun food in, in the spring. Cool. That's pretty good. Why is it that focusing on me? I wanted to show I wanted to focus on that, but I just put it on there. Yeah, so um, so Urban, go ahead. Oh no no no. I was just I'm just I'm debating. It's got the case has got Jeter in it. You're a master so, at that. So is it what ninety three score? What what product? Uh, classic. Oh, the low number, the minor league. Uh, I, you know what? I can't remember now. I think it's that or the four sport. I, dude, if if you have field case product, I would not open it for the world. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Just it's saying. worth. It's gonna be worth everything from that era is going up in value because people are now realizing hey this used to be dirt cheap if i save it if i get it branded by bbc which is closed down technically for right now for, for a little bit of time mm -hmm. um, i can make double triple quadruple a million times my value quickly yeah yeah that's true but you know what i, I just for me uh, uh, i don't know <laughs> All right, so here's yeah, here's my qualm with that urban and primant is that you are for sure uh, wrong. Why am I wrong? <laughs> you, you and I have had this conversation previously, so I, I think I know where you're going, but I, I need to understand. So okay, here's I'm why saying... you're wrong, and and you're right and you're wrong, by the way. So it's not that you're completely wrong. So it's going to depend on the type of collector you are. If you want to be a sealed collector, then be a sealed collector. But if you enjoy cracking packs and opening stuff, that's what I enjoy. And I'm going to open sealed stuff uh, all the time if it's going to be enjoyable for my stream. But you're right. I will save sealed packs uh, for myself. But I generally only do you know, one sealed box or something for myself and everything else I give out. But I, I'm just too addicted to opening packs that I can't. I just can't hold on to them. So I don't disagree with you, but here's the distinction that I'm giving to Urban for this. It's not a sealed box. This is a sealed case. Right. Okay. I, yeah. There in, is, that, in that case, I'm thinking of, and I think Urban agrees, is he is looking at it from an investment quality perspective. Correct. And that I would, if he had, if he had five boxes, absolutely do whatever you want. Okay, if he's already done with Donruss, he's already done with some clear, but he's got like nine cases of 89 Donruss that are sealed right now. Sealed. Yeah. Philip I mean, is picking up I, some 89 Donruss right now that, that are sealed cases. 
because yeah. you know because those are going up those are literally almost a hundred dollars a box now 89 fleer is now especially the error ones specifically um which is all i can find on ebay right now are almost you know the cases are like six to seven hundred dollars a case yeah and it's i think the, most sealed collectors are in it for the investment and i think quite a few of us are in it for the investment too I'm in it for both, right? But, yes, yes, but there, there is a both, both for me as well. My distinction exactly right. of what I'm wanting to do is I'll open some product, right? I've got I've got several cases that I've purchased now that I'm either going to do – like I've got 30 – I think I have 29 boxes of, of 88 Donners uh, that are unopened, but they're not a sealed case. They were literally just all from a, from a case that the guy had had and, and taken the case away, and it was two cases, right? Um, and I just have them all in, in, in shipping boxes now. So I'll, I'll break those. Absolutely yeah. fine. I'll save some. I have a case of 88 Fleer that's sealed. A case of 88 Score, sealed. A uh, case of 92 Upper Deck Kai number, it's sealed. I, those are, if I have independent boxes, I will break those to hell and back. No issue. Even if they're sealed, I don't care. I will break those. I will use those for Patreons or giveaways or... You are one thousand percent spot on. And but I think I think you're you're one thousand spot on too about uh you know if you're if you're in it for the investment value, then you need to be in it for the investment value, and you better not crack that sucker, right? And you you keep that thing sealed up. Absolutely. Um, and I think you're right. If you're if you're going to be in it for the investment, and I think a lot of us are, we want to have something that is valuable when we're older that we can sell and be able to pay for retirement or give to our kids or whatever. That's something I think all of us honestly want out of this. But yeah. at the same time, <laughs> I'm cracking some stuff because it's fun. And I think just I as it. a – I'm coming at it from a YouTuber's perspective. Oh, you know, absolutely. As a absolutely. YouTuber, I'm trying to get as much content as I can out there. I will keep some sealed boxes around. And I think that if you're going to be a sealed collector, great. But you can make a lot of money as a non-sealed collector as well if you want to do it – You know, if you want to give it your all. Absolutely, um, but it's Absolutely. it. I, I think your approach is correct. So I, when I say you're wrong, it's just wrong for me. You know, I, and it's and not that, and it's not wrong for me. I do have sealed product, but so I I generally do you have any more keep sealed multiple. fates left. Yes, I do. Tons. Okay, so so there's there's the distinction. Right. You you are spot on in using product to break for your channel and for fun. Yeah. Neither of us are right. Neither of us are wrong. No, no. I, your, your your distinction is absolutely spot on. Both of us are. are yeah. So I learned early on in, in college, they told me that you only know if you're truly communicating when you disagree. And so in, sure. a, in a stream like this, I can't just be a yes man. Somebody's got to be the devil's advocate <laughs> or else we're not going to have good combos. So the fact that, that Urban has almost 10 sealed cases of 89 Donruss, which are right now the huge – and Here's the distinction for that specifically, those specific cases. They're going up in value now. In a yeah. year, they might they might plummet. Right. Like so you as an investor need to make that wise yes. decision of when do I sell these? these and I think that's my biggest concern for sealed investors is that if you're gonna be getting into sealed product, it's gonna be expensive. Especially if you're gonna be going all the way to the case size. It's gonna be yeah. expensive. And so you are taking an investment risk there for sure. I think but, that's but what we do. I think that's an extra thing we could do with this channel from the three, four, five, six of us. Mm -hmm. is, you know, take that investment strategy of what's hot, what's not. Right. Look at this. Look at him. I know he's got it. So uh, one, one. I got to jump in real quick. One cent. Did you see my polls today? Because uh, I did pull a pretty legit card from Hidden Fates. <laughs> he doesn't. I mean, he might not know. I know he might not. That's why I was curious. I think it would be awesome though if we got like a an inv an investor panel together to like you know discuss the way that they're investing and how it's working for them, and have you know several different ideas across the board. I think we need to talk about that one for sure before we get. get I mean, there's <laughs> ways of investing, right? So there's yeah. a there's, there's there's your buddy. I don't know I'll if show you're my actually... screen real quick if you don't mind. I'll show yeah, one second. Charizard. <clears throat> there's your buddy and i don't know if you're connected with him or not you should be 
that guy that quit investment banking who was making probably a half a million a year in New York City and gave it up to become a YouTube Leonardo. guy. Yes. Yeah, he was a lawyer. He was sorry, he was a lawyer. My apologies. Yeah. To me, that's he's probably making half a million as a lawyer in New right. York City. He was making bank. Okay. And he gave that up to become a YouTuber because his buddy passed away who was a Pokemon guy. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And he's he's he is doing phenomenal with it. Yes, he is. Right. He is absolutely opening product and he is pulling hot stuff and he's reselling it. So there's there's multiple layers to the saving and, and opening and breaking and everything, right? So as a an individual collector, if I'm pulling a hot card, say a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie auto that I want to sell, I'm gonna sell it, right? Right. Of You're gonna course. sell it when it's hot. Unless it's part of your PC and you're never getting rid of it, like like uh, who of you's got a Ken Griffey Jr. you can show real quick? Besides me, let me, let me uh, flip to me. Let me flip to me. You know, a nice little Ken Griffey Jr. Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. Yeah, King I'm buying Griffey. a PSA nine. I've got it. I think I have a nine and a nine five. I need to, I need to get a ten eventually. I will. I, I might sell some of these because I have. I have a few of these that I've collected over the past year. Um, and some of some are graded, some are not. I need to go through. What I'll start doing is all, all the stuff that I've collected, I need to do, start doing a weekly basis of or daily of today I'm going through these cards and, and do the organization because I've got I've got picked up so much stuff that's I've just thrown in, in shoe boxes, the white shoe boxes. Uh, is that Charizard worth ten Griffies? I mean, raw. It's come down quite a bit since just even two weeks ago when I was talking about this. Okay. Um. So, I saw twenty five hundred dollar was the minimum that it Holy was going geez. for, and that was uh, last week. And then this week, I saw one sell for under a thousand. A PSA ten. So that's because it's the GX. Yeah, shiny. GX Ultra Shiny. I mean, this is probably the most expensive Pokemon card from any of the sets. For Ever? the last three years, two okay. years. So, silly question about that, because I know you're collecting it to break those, right? You want to pull those so you can resell them. You've got one or yeah. two your for your collection that you get graded for PSA 10. Mm -hmm. to sell the rest, right? So that's the right. investment value for you. Correct. You're breaking them to pull those hot cards to resell, which is totally yeah. fine. Yeah. Right. I've I you know I if I'm pulling cards that are not part of my PC, uh, I'm giving them away as Patreon gifts or I'm selling them to recoup some of the costs like we all do right and that's the difference and distinction between <laughs> breaking and saving unopened products specifically right. cases right that's the major distinction yeah and and you know if you're gonna break into sealed product when i when i do it it is because i am quite confident that there is well i'm not confident i know that there's a card in that set that is worth high dollars and that's why I'm willing to break uh, any of those sure. sealed packs, especially for Pokemon. See, for Pokemon, it becomes very easy to make that decision because we're not spending thousands of dollars on cases or anything. You know, even a full case of Pokemon uh, booster boxes will run you max 600 bucks, maybe. Okay. So that's the most expensive you could ever shell out. So when you're getting that box in, I bought how many? Nine of the, the great Pokemon ball boxes at 50 bucks a piece and i was just going to open until i found the charizard and sell the rest well i found it in the very first box so now i can sell the rest for double yeah. but if those were still going for like 50 bucks a pop then i would probably only keep two which is still what i'm going to do i'm going to keep two and sell the rest um but it would be a much better strategy you know to keep uh all of them and s you know sell them if they're going to be valuable in the future but once again it's it's a crapshoot you have to be it's just it's like with gamble. cards yeah it's yeah. a gamble and you got to make that decision so if you want to keep that sealed product around great to me it's much more valuable opening it now and selling the cards because i'm grading on psa the majority of people that are opening cards are not willing to get them graded so right that well, they don't, either they're not either they're not they don't want to spend they don't have 100 cards and they don't have $800 to get PSA graded, yeah. right? Or they're not confident that it's going to pull a 10 and that's the major concern. I don't care. If I want to resell it, absolutely. Everybody wants that 10, right? Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm buying this. And I know, you know, El, uh, uh, Urban is doing this, right? So Kobe Allard, Toki Toki Zahn, Mike Stremski, other 
undervalued rookies that that are now making the grade. Uh-huh. Yuki Desan- or Toby Allen, Kobe Allen was four and one with the Rangers after his trade. Mm-hmm. Phenomenal start, right? He's going to be the number three starter for the Rangers yet next year. His rookie autos, just rookie autos, are le- less than five bucks a pop. Tuki Toussaint, you can pick up for like a dollar for uh-huh. autoed under a hundred cards. Okay. The uh, Mike Yastrzemski has gone up in value, so you can't pick up his 2015, which is the only card in existence of him right now. So hopefully, in the 2019 uh, tops update, you know there's 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 those cards. Yeah. So. And I, and I think that sealed product is far more valuable to an investor when it's vintage sealed. If it's new sealed stuff, it's much much more uh, oh, unappealing. But the vintage, you know, obviously you want to keep that around because you can pull. Uh, cards that are in good condition that have been knocked around people's houses for years right but i mean there's always there's always specifics right yeah 2000 tops update 2018 tops right. update right. people are hoarding that now because of the acuna yeah. not Juan soto the acuna right which i think is unfortunate because if you're smart you'd be picking oh. up the, the uh Juan soto right now as well which i am Heck yeah, baby. by the way primate pick for the week Juan soto so, back to Urban. Urban has. Uh, sorry, I'm sleeping. What? What, what, what? You go with your question. You train a thought on the, the minor league. I want to hear about it. Oh, I, I'd like to keep it sealed. And don't get me wrong, guys. What what my um, uh, you know outlook for the channel is, um, I want to be able to offer good stuff for people, right? Okay, mind you, you know some of the stuff is older. I get it. Uh, you know what? I love the older stuff. Just because I grew up with the older stuff and all the big guys, like whether or not it's Jordan, whether or not it's, you know, um, you know, Mark McGuire, you know, and all that. And I love it because it brings back, you know, Gretzky's and Lemieux's and Yager's. Like, that's my era, right? And I love it. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, I want to bring, you know, new stuff into the channel as well, too. And you know what? I didn't think I was going to be getting into Pokemon until this Mr. El Canon came by. And, uh, <laughs> I've spread uh, the love. So, but that's okay, right? I, I'm open, and, and you know, some people may not like it—the fact that I may, you know, enjoy opening Pokemon, whatever, right? It's it, it is what it is, and I hope people respect that, because I respect anybody that opens, you know, uh, Garbage Pail Kids or you know Cabbage Patch Kids or the Wacky Packs or you know Star Wars cards, whatever. Because if that's what you want to collect and that's what you want to open, by all means. Of right? course, I no, nobody it. should ever be ostracized for their PC, right. regardless of how nerdy it is or it how dumb all the time. I think it is. Yeah, I, it does happen all the time, and it, it is unfortunate, and it, it shouldn't happen. I mean, when I first got into Pokemon uh, just a few months ago, I had some of the same concerns. I was like, well, I don't know. If I want to bring this out again, you know, back in the day when I was younger, I got into Pokemon cards. I went to high school, and they all just mocked anybody that had Pokemon cards because it was stupid, they thought. So, you know, you kind of have that ingrained into you when you're a kid. And so as an, as an adult, you think, well, all right, now I'm going to come out to all my peers on a YouTube channel for the whole world with Pokemon cards. Let's we'll see see what the, how they receive it, you know? Uh-huh. I personally don't care. I, I You know, I had that small twinge. It lasted 20, 30 seconds or whatever. And I was just like, oh, why do I care about that? Move on. Yeah. Um, but yeah. that's growth in me as a, a mature adult. You know, somebody that's younger starting this could just easily be turned off from doing this by – what exactly what you're describing yeah and that's yeah, unfortunate no, so you know what that's why yeah do i have stuff that's sealed in in, in my in my bad for not wanting to open it um no because here's the thing later down the road if it becomes more valuable then and, and i can say sell it to you know a private collector or whatever it just means that now i've got extra money that i can bring back into the channel for people right on other things right because where i don't want to be is is you know selling a, a Five hundred dollar pack of cards, like that's that's crazy. Hey, it'd be nice yeah. to do it, but that's that's not what I want to do. I don't want to be, you know, um, uh, you know, doing an assembly line of opening up, you know, fifty cases of one product, right? It's just uh, I get it. Some people will do it. It's a revenue stream to each their own. But I rather, you know, keep it the, the way I'm doing it now because if it if it was as big, there's no way there's no way I'd be able to handle it. I can't even handle twenty five packages to get out in a couple of days, right? And that let alone like thousands right so um i don't know that, that's all it's just uh, you got to look at both both 
like like you said, it, it's it's a collector standpoint and and as well as investment standpoint, right? It's um... correct, and that's yeah. You know, I've talked about that before, where I, you know, I'm willing to overpay for my PC, and it's only because you know when it comes to your collection, you will make you're on tilt essentially, <laughs> and mm-hmm. you'll make decisions that you wouldn't normally make because you want a card in your collection. It's just how right. it generally works. And so I think most people overpay for their PCs and try to get the best deal they can on anything they're investing in and reselling, which is what you should do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, Philip. Philip, Lloyd, sorry, I didn't say hello. Hello. Welcome back, Lloyd. I see who else we missed here. Yeah, we can do, if any Pokemon guys want to, we can do a break on this. I don't know what's, uh, we could do. Uh, oh, what, a imagine if you pulled a Charizard, dude. If anybody wants in. What's the details on the break? I don't know. I let's 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 figure it out. There's you, ten packs. Uh, talk ten to packs. your people. Talk to your people. Let's do uh, five spots, two packs, uh, twenty bucks, plus a few bucks for shipping, and we'll random off the box. We'll random off the uh, maybe not the box. Well, yeah, we can do the box. What the heck? Um, and all the goodies. And, oh, and that special insert card. Oh, yeah, right. the special insert to be random off. Yeah, that's a pretty decent deal right there because these boxes, so I bought them uh, for retail price at Walmart, and you can sell them for double on eBay, like, right out the, the store. Um, so, yeah, that's a good price. So I, I do that, but uh, like I said, it doesn't matter whether or not we do it or not. I'm just I'm here to have fun. I'm here to hang out. Um, that's actually that's – a, that's a really good break. I mean, there's – some really oh, I love breaking. If I could pull that Charizard for somebody, I'd yeah. probably cry. But, Dude, um, I, oh my gosh, I'd cry too. I might even send you twenty bucks right now. But you know what? <laughs> I know that person will remember that for probably the rest of their lives. Good lord! I put the rest of my Charizards up here so you could see the. I I got that uh, unbroken bond ones, unbroken bonds one in a pen also, and that's the other most expensive one from this year besides Burning Shadows. So I'm still looking for the Burning Shadows one, uh, mm-hmm. and I'll have all three of the most expensive cards for the year. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. I spent a lot of money for it, though, in fairness. Yeah, that's, I would, yeah, I agree. I agree. It, it can get pricey. <laughs> Thank you, Philip. I appreciate it. Yeah, please. We can smell you from here, Philip. Yeah, yeah. So that must be the Amazon vehicle or something. <laughs> never actually sold a pokemon break before i've never even tried i'd love to i haven't either i think it would be pretty cool i think it'd be i think it's probably simple right depending well, on what you're breaking yeah i, I kind of thought the same thing and i've thought about ways to do it and i just don't see how it would be valuable like you can just go get that retail yourself somewhere that's right now, with this product, it's a little bit different because it's sold out everywhere, so breaks might work for this product, but I just don't see it happening long-term for Pokemon. I I tried to think about ways to do it because your breaks are going to be so small unless you do a whole... Oh, my God. I thought we were done with, with 87, 89 football. Apparently not. Apparently not. Yeah. Like... I, Irvin, Chris, you need to go buy a GoPro, okay, Mm -hmm. and you need to take it with you to all, edit out, edit out all the values, right, edit out when you're doing deals and paying money so we don't hear it, I know that's, I wouldn't want that out there, totally fine, you edit it out, okay, you can pick up a a, a video editing software for free from like Google, Mm -hmm. okay, so you can edit it yourself, um, but you need to go and live, not live stream, but record you going to the theme parks here and theme parks. I'm just kidding. The, uh, the, what do you call it? The flea markets and you yeah. buying this stuff or showing it off or showing people <laughs> how to wheel and deal. Honestly, or showing people how to wheel and deal. Yeah. Yeah. That would be, that would be, that would be cool. Okay, that's a huge expansion to your channel because you know how much people love watching Jabs is, uh, and Jabs only walk you know shows little bits and pieces of him finding something or going through something. He's never 
he's never going through the bartering or or, or and, and that that if you don't want to include the values that's fine you know right how much you spend but like hey you know would you you know i'm looking at this you know can we discuss prices or, you know there, there's ways to go through with people like hey i'll buy this if you'll do that as well right so yeah. without talking about price so that's right that's right no i should no absolutely and, and uh i would like to go with uh, with the fam one day as well too to another area <laughs> There's a big flea market um, outside of Barrie, like a 400 flea market, and it's huge. So, uh, yeah, 12 spots for that. With I don't even know how, how to do that. With energy, the energy type, I'd be lost. I'd be lost for that. Oh, yeah, that's true. It would be. But there's some 89 and there's some 87. Uh, the 87, I know uh, it's Funkin's favorite year. I think it's uh, Randall Cunningham, rookie year. So, uh, but, uh, Bo too as well. I knew there's Bo 88. Yeah. Uh, 88. Bo's 88. Yeah. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> one cent. I, I, so I broke it down like that once, uh, cause I thought that's probably the best way to do the break. I'll just break it down by energy, uh, and what type of Pokemon they are. Uh, so I thought that would be the best. And I actually set a break that up that way. And I think I, if I do any Pokemon breaks, I think that's the way to go. So all your breaks would either have nine or twelve, depending on how many. Ten, nine or ten or twelve, depending on how I've many. I've got two, two of these left. Ooh. And how many have how many uh? uh many Griffies did you pull? Griffies did you pull already? Yeah. Uh, I don't think we pulled the Griffy yet. I don't think. Or did Lloyd? Did Lloyd get a Griffy? I'm trying to think now. Hey, Cause, how you doing, man? <laughs> hey, Cause, what's going on? So we could do that. I'm just trying to see if uh, Isaac was looking for something fun, so I'm just trying to think of something different. Um, There's a lot of requests for the Pokemon break, so I might I might reconsider that and go back and, and put together a Pokemon break. Let's do it. Let's do it to Pokemon. Let's do it to Pokemon. Hey, does anybody want a holiday box? I can do a holiday box tonight. I uh, investment prime and picks of the week again giving an update don't sell too many of those don't break too many of those because they're once they're gone they're gone man right. they're gonna go up in value. He's, he, he's right about that one on the holiday box elkanon will agree with me on that one because that's limited production that's gone yeah. that's 2018 like here in the next couple weeks if if walmart isn't gone of them like I'll be surprised. Yeah, I would too. I mean, I when I first got into this, this was the first product that I bought was Tops Holiday 2018 Holiday, and I had yeah. no clue how scarce they were until I started showing my stream around. People were like, "Whoa, you have holiday boxes?" I was like, "Yeah, what's the big deal?" And then yeah, I, you probably be you should probably be charging a bit more to be honest with you, not to screw anybody else out here. Yeah, but. no, I mean, my boxes, I've only done, I think, five on top of what I paid retail. So I, I'm, I'm not making much on them, and I, I'm going to up them. Yeah, I mean, it's, just, it's supply and demand, yeah. right? I mean, you know, even if even if Urban has two million of them, he's the only guy who would like two million of them. So right. Right. once that two million is depleted, no more exists. Word. Yeah. I, I hear you. I'm I, just, I'm, I'm trying to protect you here, man. I know, I know. Okay. Well, thank you. I, I, I appreciate that. I do too, because I'm ig I'm just ignorant enough about the hobby at this point to make those kinds of mistakes. I mean, I got, I bought six cases of 2018 Diamond Kings which are now even lower in cost from blowout, but they're almost blowout is almost gone of them. And that's literally the last available top boxes. You can wow. I assume that you can probably buy some off of eBay, but that's even getting like, you can't get 2017 anymore. It's gone. 2016 is gone. 2015 is like, there's one box available on eBay. So, you know, once that's gone, it's gone. I, I probably have one of the few amount of cases left in existence, and well, I should probably go look for some of those. What's up, Ricky? Yeah, and this is so the reason why I have those is because you can pull Shohei Atani autoed rookies. Yeah, mm -hmm. 
cops didn't have it, or maybe they did, um, but it had, you know, both cops and Panini had it, and then 2019, you can't get Shohei in, in Panini products anymore. Hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> Just an FYI. Hey, Javi, what's going on? PSA. Um, yeah, so we got I got some eighty nine donors to finish off that box if anybody's interested. <laughs> I would never call you ignorant, Hobby. Well, that's not true. I don't know you well enough. <laughs> <laughs> Possible. Um, twenty bucks a stock. And throw me a couple bucks for shipping. And we're all good. Depending if you want all the cards or just the hits. So really twenty five shipped per corner. Yeah. If you want them all. Absolutely. Perfect. I try to be fair. I try to. I try to. I try to be fair, right? Yeah. So, because I know some of my guys, which are perfectly fine, I'd be more than. I wanted. I'll ship you all the cards. I just. I really appreciate just a couple extra dollars for shipping because once you get over that threshold, it just it, it goes up significantly, right? So, then you start getting into the flat rate box. Mountain Rip. Gorilla said he saw a trainer box at uh, Walmart. Go get it for yourself, Mountain. Go, get Go grab it. that thing and just and put it on eBay. You can buy it for fifty, sell it for eighty-five. I'll buy it, Mountain. There you go. <laughs> go pick it up. I'll I'll, I'll PayPal you. I'll do it. I'll do a swap with you. I'll do a trade for you if you want. Yeah, Rick, you found the right chat now. Yeah. I just oh, needed Rick. you to have. I needed you to be in my channel for the view hours. So go back. No, I'm just kidding. I found this one for you, Ricky. I'm always always see Philadelphia guys now. You're getting viewed hours right now anyway, you bum. How? Who is? You. Yeah, I know. Not you. Not me. Elkanon has... There's people watching your stream right now. Well, yes, I do have two people <laughs> on the stream, but I had zero for a minute, and then Ricky Clark came in. He was the only person for like, I don't, like, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe? You're st they're 25 a corner for Mountain. Yeah. My um, last two corners. That was a cool one, Joyce. How you doing, Ricky? Ricky, Ricky. Like, one cent, you want to buy the packs all from him? Is that what you want? Well, I would do the, yeah, like, I would do, like, $10 versus doing a random break. Well, I would do, like I said, if I'd probably do like five spots. I would do two packs per, so 20 bucks, 10 bucks a pack, and then I'll random off the, the, the goodies inside, including the um, the card, right? The, what is it, the bird card? I don't know. I think that's not bad. I'm, try I'm still trying to figure out what Ricky wants oh, to do. Isaac, uh, 25 bucks a corner. That shipped. And I think, do I? I still have. $25 a corner, Isaac. So yeah, each stack right have... here is 25 Yeah. Ah. No, I think they're still available. No, not yet, Mount. Nope. Nope. I have not gotten to my phone to PayPal them, so you still have an opportunity. So one cent, how many of the Pokemon packs do you want? I don't think he's going to break the box unless he's got them all sold. Yeah. So he's got to, you either, he needs five people to buy into the break. Um, and, yeah, and, and um, one cent, just remember, there's no 89 clear in there. <laughs> yeah, you cannot pull a Ken Griffey out of there. Yeah. So I always will brag about this, but this was a gift from one cent, because he had already, that, that was his third one he pulled, and yeah. uh, I'll never forget it. This is not going anywhere. This is my PC. This will stay with me um uh, until it gets handed over to Savannah. So, Urban, I hope you're going to go back and try to find those early cases of 89 Flare. I'm going to try, but I, I probably can't get any more. Like, just look, keep looking. You got the codes. You know what the code stamped is on the box side of the case. Yeah, the boxes. That's right. <laughs> no Ripkins and Hidden Fates. Not yet, anyways. <laughs> yeah and isaac if you um i've already got a package for you so um i'll make it fair because i already you already paid for shipping once and this is why i'm, I'm a fair guy 
uh, I would do 25 for the first tax, 20 for the next, and then that way that covers um, pretty much all the sh all the shipping charges. And that would go to anybody that wants them. I do it that. Just because I want to see a Griffey. Hopefully. A char Griffey? A char Griffey, yes. <laughs> Cause AFF. <laughs> Yeah, if, if four more people want to go in on Pokemon, I'd love to do that. That'd be kind of cool, actually. It'd be a little bit of a break, right? On, uh... There might be a Charizard in here. Holy crap, I would... Man, I would I would hopefully get a whole bunch of views for that Charizard. Yeah, man, I thought I would too, but I only got like 13 views or 16 views on that video, so I have to go and edit it down. Are you doing tags? Huh? Hashtags and everything else. Oh, yeah. Huh. I'm sure it's got a much more views now, but I haven't checked yeah, it for several hours. I can't eat, see the live chat for Streamlabs. That's the only thing. Oh, no. Yes, I can. There we go. Now it's working. If you're using Streamlabs, you can add you can add the, the, the live chat into it or just yeah. have a second monitor, right? Isaac wants a stack. Which stack do you want, Isaac? Oh, I don't. Oh, I didn't buy the big sleeves either. Do, 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 do. I sent my PSA order last week, and they still haven't said they've received it or put it in to the system or anything. Sweet cause. You have to let me know if they have any. Um, if not, guys. Um, they will probably be gone by next week. I'm going to tell you that right now. So, um, now technically these are still mine, but there is a, a full box. <laughs> now, the, 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 yeah, I can get one more box, I think. I might be able to snag one more box. And then one of the, one of the boxes will be, is already taken. Um. <laughs> Because they, I'm telling you, these, the, the Tim Hortons go like wildfire. They do not produce like they do regular upper deck hockey cards. They are so, um, you know, um, I, I guess they're just, they're rare. Um, they only make a certain amount and then that's it. They're done. Um, so I'd be interested to see what the counts are on, on the production rate. But they usually don't do that anymore. Probably very limited. It's still... Yeah. You know, it's not like uh, Tops producing 10 billion boxes or anything. There's only so many Tim Hortons, because I assume that's where you get them from. Yeah. When you can just buy the packs from them. And then, you know, we buy your... Well, I did my I did my Timmy's drive through run so today, so that yeah. was kind of cool. I like that. I wanted to order a cop. I thought it was kind of cool, actually. I really enjoyed that. Um, and I had to complain. Sorry if, if you guys were in there earlier, and I had to complain about the new cups, the lids. Um, it's just we get it. it we get it so i um again i i, I think uh, most of you know that i'm interviewing and everything like that so i i have a startup that i'm interviewing with um that's being purchased by another company right now and i've moved on to one of the final uh final phases i haven't gone out to their site yet and um that will be happening here very soon. So I just got confirmation from them that I'll be interviewing with the former CEO of the startup, who's now the VP VP of the company that purchased them soon. No stress, no stress at all there. Yeah, that's no stress, right? Oh, the former CEO of the startup. Like, wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, man. All right, you that's, do your break. That's okay. That's that's exciting, though. Are we eating gum tonight, guys? I uh, that's all. That's on you, bud. <laughs> uh, it depends on what it looks like. If it looks okay, then abs. Oh yeah, that looks okay. Yeah. Oh. oh. 
Oh, wow. That Ooh. was crunchy. Oh. Bud. I hope you didn't break a tooth. Oh, man. Oh, man, bud. Don't you Dude. Do oh, my. One, one cent wants to open up a trainer box, guys. Two spots are gone already. Oh. That's like liquefying in my mouth there. That's bad. Oh. That's what they so, do, it, man. Dude. It tastes like wax. Oh. That's kind of the, Oh, man. I need a chaser. All I went right. went ahead and bought a couple of those packs. Why not? All right, Isaac. Good luck. All right. Now, I got to remember these names now. Ron probably remembers them all. How's my camera? Do I need to get that out of the way? Yeah, get all the stuff off your screen or hold the car hold the cards up to the camera. Maybe. Yeah, it's just oh. I know it's hard because I'm me. leaning I'm leaning forward. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. That's so much a little bit up, a little bit up. There we go. There you go right there, perfect. Whoop. That's perfect. Gibson, know that one. Who is that? Martinez? Don't they look super narrow? Yeah. They're not though. They just because of the length of the card. Yeah. Just... Oh my goodness! We gotta make oh my a man. God, got a fifty-one mantle. Holy, Holy cow! cow. Oh. Chet Lemon. I saw somebody trying to sell one of those on eBay for like two hundred dollars. <laughs> I saw somebody trying to sell. Uh... Oh, what was it? Oh, it was the uh, Mickey Mantle from uh, Fifty Two. And it was like okay. a, a reprint. Holy. Uh, reprint, yeah. And uh, they were trying to sell it as a real thing. Oh, yeah. oh baby, boom! Boom, boom, boom. Oh, oh Morgan. Isaac. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Wow. Put it. Oh, wait, you can't put it in a one touch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you, do you, you even make a, one touches one for touch that bag. size? <laughs> I would literally oh, just chop I, it off. I, good. That's a nice card. So I got a, uh, I think a fair question. So I've got eBay bucks to use, and it's a substantial amount. What should I buy? Um, All right, say that again. I'm sorry. eBay bucks. And you can only use them on eBay. I've never even yeah. used eBay bucks before. I know what they are. What should you buy? Yeah, what should I buy? Hold on, hold that thought. I'll be right back. I gotta help the kids. The other kid to bed. Ooh, look at that, Bowman. Nice. I like those reprints. Huh? Anderson. <laughs> I know. <laughs> See, to me, that looks like an old card. The way he's kneeling like that. Next is the Griffey. I know truth's always about the Griffey. Oh my goodness. I I saw that guys. I almost pooped my pants. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but it is a Sandy Alomar. There you go. Oh my goodness. It's the second year of Edgar. There we go. Let's get this here. I just get excited. This is fun. This is what I love doing. Ripping packs, baby. Oh, just getting cards for people. That's that's I love it. Honestly, guys. Fantastic. That's nice, Edgar. These well, cards are nicely centered, too. If you think about what a pack of cards is, inside is the present, and the outside is just that wrapping. Yeah. It's just like Christmas every single time you open one. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Are they... Wow, they're selling... They're... You guys are selling Pokemon? <laughs> I think we're buying Pokemon. No, that's what I mean. Like, you guys are selling it for me. <laughs> I think we sold three spots already. Oh, my <laughs> goodness gracious me. Two, two more. These are nicely centered. I'm telling you, these are beautiful. Urban's going to have to take a couple spots for himself. Uh... <laughs> he goes, uh, but then he pulls a Cynthia and... <sighs> What's up, Philip? Welcome back. Philip's all. Oh man, it smells like roses in here. Philip, are you using you rosen roses uh, shampoo or something? Yeah. Must have ran out. 
Jessup off field. Did you get? Did you, oh yeah, Truth got. Did you get the package yet? Hold on, I don't know who got the package. I don't need to. Give me one second. Sorry, guys. Too long. I always like to check that. See, I don't really give the tracking numbers out unless I know there's an issue because it's just kind of nice to receive a package and not know that it's coming. Who's um, El Canaan? Yours is on the way. Isaac, yours is in transit. Oh, not yet. Oh, man. Oh, maybe. Dan got did, did mail day and he got his. Oh, processed. Okay. I'll tell you what, if one cent or if Urban pulls a Charizard tonight, I will lose it. Okay, what will you give back to me? <laughs> Are we going to do Vegas rules? <laughs> so. Yeah, everybody that was in my stream when I pulled it is getting something. Oh, beautiful. Wade Boggs. Nice. I love Boggs. Yeah. I only have, I think, a couple hundred box cards. Only. Bog. That's the only, I, I would have to say, it's one of my favorite Bo Sox players. It's it's the name when I grew up. I just like the name. Box. Yeah. Right? Well, and there was a legend behind it, you know? It's in Orlando, truth. So maybe tomorrow. Because you guys do mail on Saturday. We don't do mail on Saturday in Canada. All right, Jack Morris. Come on, let's get some boom here. <coughs> Stats are please. Mark Grace. Another nice mantle. <laughs> He's actually happy, guys. Look at that. <laughs> it's happy Heckersley. Oh, man. He must have had a good night the night before. Oh, almost a good checklist. Almost. The centering on the sides are perfect. <laughs> Ursula from the Little Mermaid. <laughs> Ah, uh, my cousin used to wake me up whenever we were together at 6 a.m. every morning to watch Little Mermaid. I have that movie memorized. Another Wade box. Yeah, it should be tomorrow. Let me check for you. Right, now I want to know, just to make sure. I think Primate was putting his kid to bed or something. Yeah. So where's my tracking? It says... It arrived in Seminole Orlando Distribution Center. So you're expected to have it by tomorrow by 8 o'clock. Woohoo! You're going to have some ice cream time tomorrow. Happy ice cream? Yeah, happy ice cream. Happy ice cream. All right, second so last pack. Isaac, let's get you something. We got a Sheffield, so that's good. That was a good start. You know, there's going to be bonds. a Griffey there. Nice bonds. There's going to be a Griffey. I'm hoping so. I hope so. That's a cool shot. I like that. Man, PSA must be really behind because they received my package on the 27th and still haven't put it in the system. They're very slow. A week ago. Uh, well, last time I sent it in, they had it done instantly. The day they got it, basically. I think it depends on what, what tier you're paying for. Yeah. I sent a bunch of Pokemon cards. I sent a 
uh, uh, 50 card submission, 60 a 60 card submission. So Isaac, do you want do you want all the 89? Isaac and but truth I am selling them or sending them another uh, just baseball and football and it's got about 60 cards in it too I'm trying to get that one to over 100 before I send it though it depends one cent uh, a 50 card submission can cost various uh, amounts based on the specials they're running but normally um, they s it's like uh, twenty dollars per card that's just if you send one card in twenty bucks uh, if you send more than 25 cards I believe you get down to 15 and more than a hundred cards then you can get it to ten dollars per card uh, I sent mine in on a special and the special was eight dollars per card just for Pokemon that's why this is all a Pokemon submission um, what baseball am I sending? Oh boy. Hey Isaac. A lot. Um, who's your baseball team again? Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm sending a bunch of tops uh, chrome in, in that uh, they're either blue, green, or better. Some autos for those. Uh, Tim Tebow rookie for football. A couple of those. Joe Flacco, number to 75. I got a Braylon Marquez to 499. Some other autos from people. Joe Pepitone auto. So, yeah, I got a lot going in. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. autos. Todd Helton auto. Tom Glavin auto. Or Tom Glavin rookie. A 50 card submission is going to cost over 500 at least. Yeah, my 60 card submission at eight dollars a card because I was on a deal cost me uh, exactly 500. Right. right so you were doing the Pokemon deal, right? Yeah, it was eight dollars a card. So if you're doing just a normal 50 card submission, then you're what 15 times 50? Yep. 750 bucks. Yeah, I wouldn't spend 100 either, but, you know, you're going to have to shell that out. So here's the best way to do it, Ricky. I am putting on my website a way that you can send your card to me to get graded, and I'll send it in with my bulk submission. That way I can get the bulk pricing and don't have to charge you a ton. So uh, I can get you some cheaper uh, pricing that way, but I still have to put it on my site. I keep saying I'm going to do it every day, and I just don't. This weekend, I promise. Crazy. Is Isaac still in here? I think so. I was just asking um, uh, for his team again. I haven't seen him in a minute, so. Yeah. I know he's the Cowboys for, um, and he likes for minor football. leagues. I'm remembering some, some stuff, but just curious on that. Uh, so I have that one other 89 if anybody wants it. Um, and no pressure on, on anybody, of course. Um, just trying to think what we can do as well. If anybody buys two stacks for the um, whether or not it's a two for twenty or anything else, I'll throw in uh, an eighty-seven Donruss pack because I want to. I've got one stack left of eighty-seven Donruss. To answer your question, Truth, no, I did not send them any David Justice cards. So you're going to spend more at a at a show to get PSA grading or or BGS than you are sending them to them. Oh yeah. Because they have, you know, it's at least 30, 40% more expensive. So. That's and then, it. guys, I'll let you know as soon as I have that option up on my site for you to send cards to me. Um, and I'm more than willing to do that for you. So, yeah, absolutely. And there's generally other groups not to not to, uh, not to let <laughs> Elkanon upsell his stuff. Um, there's generally groups you can get into that have, that's 86, Don, 86 at least, not 87, you said. Oh, there's the 87. Okay. Um, you can get into groups that are submitting like hundreds or thousands of cards. Right. And, you know, I don't know. I've heard rumors that it's, you know, a better chance of getting a graded card, 10, whatever. I don't know if I believe that or not. But that does reduce your rate. And most of the time, they can get a better rate than $8 a card. Hmm. So you still want to submit, you know, or more than 10. So you're reducing your cost. 
Um, but understand that's going to take, you know, whatever they're submitting it at, you got to submit it to them. Uh, you know, and all the documentation for it, they'll submit it to you. So it gets submitted to PSA or BGS. Uh, and then it gets back to them and then they package back up to you. So there's, you know, depending on normally the, the lowest cost ones take like 90 days. Right. And that's why you're getting it so inexpensive because it is taking them so long. You're giving them time to do it instead of doing it uh, quick. The more you cards you have and the longer you give them, the cheaper it'll be. Right, right. If you want it quick, you got to pay for it. You know? mm -hmm. But you also get you know, your card back quickly, and it could be very expensive. The other problem okay. is that a lot of people don't want to pay for that submission, that $250 plan yeah. for PSA, and they just want to have somebody else do it. So I get that, but, you know, I know you don't want to spend $20 a card, but the realistic answer is you're going to. When it comes to you shipping the card to me, me sending it and getting it graded, maybe I charge you 10 bucks if I have an $8 submission, so I make $2 on the card. Then I got to charge you shipping back, so that's six dollars in shipping there and back. Yep. Uh, plus the ten dollars you spent, so you're at sixteen. You know, it's saving yourself a little bit of money. I'll put a couple Padres uh, cards for together for you too, Isaac. But I got tons. Just gotta. <laughs> one cent says this all sounds like a racket. Well, you're right. One cent. It, it is. is kind of a racket, but you have to play the game, or else you can't make the money. If you want cards graded to get a better resale value, you got to do the game, plain and simple. Same thing as, like, you know, joining jabs and super chatting with jabs to, to get higher-end uh, uh, subs and everything like that, or, or more subs over time quicker. You got to do it. You got to play the game. It's an unfortunate side effect. Yeah, it is worth it for certain cards. I mean, if you can find the threshold, which I've found for my submissions to be able to make decent money on the card, you know, make your, your threshold of a dollar value for that card and anything below that you're not sending in unless, of course, you think it's going to be, you know, go up in value just because of the grading. Anything that's new for Pokemon, if you have an 8 or lower, it's going to sell for the same as the raw price. So a 9 or a 10 is the only thing that's got any value when it comes to PSA Pokemon. Um, that's not true when it comes to vintage cards for Pokemon. Uh, they can have uh, various grading levels, but if you're trying to flip a new card, then you have to have a 9 or a 10 to make money on it. Hey, Lloyd. Yeah, it is a gamble sending them in to get it graded too, one cent. So if you send it in, you get an 8 back, you're, you're really ticked if it's a new card. If it's something vintage, you're okay with that, but yeah. You're absolutely right, and I've had that happen. This last submission, I had two cards come back an eight and one a six. Now, luckily, this is a pretty high-end card. This Reshram and Charizard that I pulled is a eight, um, so I'm not too worried about it. The higher, like very, very high dollar cards can come back with worse grades than an eight, but just the normal ones, no way. That's out of that one box, Bobby. So I don't think we pulled, we didn't pull the, um, what didn't we pull? We didn't pull the bonds. What did we pull that night? Who had, you had a stack, right, Ron? Just trying to think. 86? 86, and uh, who else had the other stack? But that's from the other box, Hobby. And Seiko, we didn't pull. Sorry, guys, just have to throw my glasses. I got new glasses in at Costco. I got to go pick up tomorrow. I'm excited about that. Yeah, one cent makes another good point. So it is about oh. speed to market with new sets of Pokemon, uh, Hidden Fates especially, and that is obviously evident from the $10,000 Charizard card that was sold. I could never sell the one I just pulled for 10000 even if it came, came back immaculate. No way. So you're right. If you can get a... A really good graded card out to market before everybody else you got a chance of making bank but that's a very small window and there's only a couple of people that are going to be able to get that so the long long game is the best speaking of which if anybody wants to buy a 2019 tops number to 25 will smith auto from 2019 tops chrome please let me know He's doing phenomenal in the NLDS right now. And 
Yeah, NLDS, yeah, NLDS. So, anyway, back to you, Urban, in the studio. In the studio? In the studio. Hey, Hobby, I sent you an email earlier. Did you get that? I'm going to show off this card real quick because this is a the other day? odd card. Want to show it off? Go ahead. You show it off. Well, Dodgers are down 3 nothing. How much for that one? Five bucks? <laughs> Add a couple zeros there. Really? Yeah. Wow. I, I wouldn't buy it. Numbered out of twenty-five, he is a he is the number one prospect next to Gavin Lux for them. I think he's actually better than Gavin Lux right now. So even yeah, though I, Gavin, I really Lux, like those orange ones, man. Yeah, number to twenty-five. The red ones. So the red ones are are the of five. five. Yeah, I pulled a couple of those, and um, they're smart, man. They're nice cards. Um, I think that's the only thing I like about the. I think I like the low number cards from Tops. That's the only or Bowman, right? That's the only thing I like. <laughs> Otherwise, I think the product's terrible. <laughs> I do. That's why I'm I, surprised you pulled so many. I, I was. You know, the, I pulled this from uh, Mud Dog, right? He pulled it in his break, and I, I, I got several from him. Um. So yeah. It's just, I need to watch. What's the score right now? Oh, sorry. Let me put uh, it back. To three you. nothing. Washington's up. Really. Yep. Braves won today, right? Three nothing. Dan, what's going on? Dodgers National. Oh, four not. Oh no, it is three nothing. Okay, man. Oh, it's early in the game though. Yeah, it's top the fourth. Who's pitching? Kershaw. Okay, and Strasburg. Yeah. Strasburg is is got five strikeouts, no hits, no walks, no errors, no earned runs. And obviously Kershaw's getting his booty bit beat right now. Yeah, Kershaw's lost a step. I mean, he's a decade old at this point, man. Well, yeah. <gasps> my dog. Where's my dog? Are you? Was my dog here? No, he's he's back as 15 minutes ago. Uh, where'd you see that, Tim? Hey, Hobby, do you want one of those stacks of 86? Okay. All right. Sweet. Just wanted to make sure. Um, oh, so, Cause, if you're looking into 2019, I bought the Heritage Minor League 2019 baseball break. I'm sorry, if you're looking into 2020. Might have some uh, potential stars in there. I'll put it on What's, my um what Discord is he on? Is he on Deafness or Sabo? Hey, Lloyd. It's Lloyd. We got payment for the 86 from Hobby. All right, so that's good. Which one do you want, Hobby? The right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just give me one second here. Uh, I'm going to set up my droid cam here so that I can actually not have to reach over. <laughs> Bear with me one second here. Yeah, if you guys want to get into the Hidden Fates Pokemon Break yeah. Elite, uh, Elite yeah. Trainer Box, it's $20 a spot. That gets you two packs and uh, a in the running for all the extras that come in the box. Because uh, those are going to be random off. Yeah. And if you guys don't want the box, I love to keep the box in one box. But if you guys want the box too, I'll give you the box. It's just it's going to be that it's, it's a box, right? Easier to ship cards than it is a box, for sure. Well, I'm glad you're back, Dragon Fan Tim. Uh, and don't worry about that, man. I think uh, all of us have experienced some of that in our life. And uh, I'm glad you're back. This is a good community for 
uh, for me, for my mental health. So, yeah, good to have you, man. It's all good, man. Totally understand where you're coming from. I think he was posting that as – Oh, my dog. My dog. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I was just going to say – I hope Tim's not that way, but hey, if it is, you know, we support yeah. you as well, Tim. Yeah. You know, we're here for you. But no, I think that was from Mud Dog. Let me go find his. Um, did you say what chat he was in? Ooh, Isaac's going to do one if we get in tonight. Wow. No pressure, guys. Hey, just, just remember that. Yeah. All right. I, I'm here to have fun. And I, it's, again, I enjoy doing this for you guys. I have fun. And um, yeah, that's it. I, I enjoy it. What do you guys think about this new AEW wrestling? AEW? Yeah, have you heard of it? No. It's like a new wrestling league that they're putting out. It's supposed to be... Hacksaw Jim Duggan? No. Just... They're trying to compete with, you know, all the other ones. Macho Man Randy Savage. Honestly, Dan, if you're still here, holy crap. That was, that was like... I couldn't believe that. If you guys haven't seen Dan's uh, Mail Day video from today... You gotta check it out. Oh man. Which Dan? Dan Hard R Cards? Hard, hard R Cards, yeah. Okay. Did hey, you guys hey. did you guys check out uh Dave Durango's videos from last night? Uh I did not as of yet. Nope. Oh dude. He he pulled an amazing one of one. You need to go watch it. Was it a Charizard? No. Oh, oh. no. Sorry, guys. <laughs> switching my camera here. It was a relic. There we go. Is that uh, live now? What, Dave's? Mine, my camera. Is it switched yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There it is. Just switched nice. to YouTube. Okay. Are you on the crappy one again? Yeah. No, I'm on my phone. Yes. All right, Hobby. Here we go, buddy. Ooh, we got a puzzle piece. All right. And Jab probably is done. We've got about double our, our viewers now. He's still going. Is He's it? still going. But... Wow. Mike Schmidt. Ooh, there we go. That's his rookie. That is his rookie. One ninety nine. I love that rookie card. That's probably one of my favorite rookie cards. Just because I was fan. such a huge Andre Salaraga fan of a kid. If he makes it into the Hall of Fame, I'm gonna puke. Really? Yeah, not a fan. I didn't. I don't think he did anything for the for the hobby. Uh, maybe not. He did something for the Rockies, but maybe not for the hobby. Well, okay, yeah. for the major leagues, how about that? Yeah, I was just very, you know, we. He took us to our first playoffs, and we didn't go back until 2007. So, I was ticked though when he went to the Braves. Man, I was ticked. Keep the puzzle pieces. All right, I know where the puzzle pieces can go. Parker, here we go. Yeah, nice. I got most of his rookies. I think. I think I have all of his rookies actually. Nice Wingfield. And you guys notice, I don't know if you guys catch this, but this is Canadian. Even rarer. So what are they worth, five times as much? I did, Phil. Uh, yeah, Philip. yeah, I did. Uh, I think you pulled something nice. I don't think uh, Urban does uh, Discord yet. Yeah, I'm on Discord. Oh, are you? Yeah, I'm in the I'm in the the, the community one. Which are you on Death Note or Sabos? Death Note, yeah, it's the only one I'm in. We need to be on Sabos. That's oh, I don't know. If you guys want to invite me, I'd be more than happy to. Yeah, uh, I'll invite you. Someone sent Eric a dirty pic and he got mad. Yes, I don't know what he sent. I, he didn't show it. He's got it on the side of his screen, but yeah. But he was There's mad about it. Yeah, yeah, why wouldn't you? I don't know, I just delete it and not even mention it probably. No, no, no. He they sent him a physical dirty picture. Like not not via email or 
Yeah, a live picture that was on that he that was folded. Oh. They sent him a, a DP live. They, you know, a physical printed photo. That's wild. Oh yeah, they send him some nasty stuff sometimes. To his oh, mail. Oh, there's Ooh. the dog. There nice. we go. Hey Indy. I don't think I have Indy Dave Thomas. Oh, did your Toronto score again? No, I just did it. You did it, okay. It's the dog. Come on. It's the crime dog. Scruff. He moved, that's the nice Six zero six five two. He he moved to Atlanta. He, he joined the Atlanta Braves, and they in the stadium caught fire the same day. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You go back to that's the ninety four ninety five season, and it, there's videos of it. Uh, somebody came and gave us a down vote. Uh oh. Sure. That's right. Oh, it, it's Prime Extreme. I'm not worried about it. I hope it's not <laughs> comments. Uh, I, I, I did. I think it's what's his name stream. Oh yeah, probably. Is. I bet you, I've gotten down votes on mine. No, you haven't. No. I mean, I'm I'm 19 and one. I'm okay with that. Like, I'm not going to complain about that. You're you're eight now. Um, somebody else's stream is 12 and 10 right now. Oh. Yeah. Don't take That's the wrong awesome. people off. I, dude, I don't even know. Like, so I'm going to post these in for people to look at later. This is Dave, uh, Dave Durango's videos. So I think if you look at the comments there, I've cheated and put the, uh, the points in that I want you to go look at. Okay. And, and Dave's a Patreon member of mine, so I, I do do shout out to people's channels, just like we're doing this. We share, we yep. share the love here, folks. So, um, I did uh, I did check out your channel, Indy. So, um, be sure to check out Indy's channel as well. Yeah, I will. Um, actually, you know what? I can do that. I'm already subbed, Indy. Already subbed, bro. I will get you. Already subbed. I found All right, you weeks already. ago. So yeah, definitely check out Dave Durango's channel, the two videos I just posted, the two video links. Really great channel. Um, the last night, like I think he I think he almost broke down and cried from what he got. So definitely be sure to check that out. There might be happy ice cream involved. Never know. Well that's cool. What? You won't get that in the American version. Oh whoa, what is that? Yeah, that is look awesome. at that. That looks like El Canon. It does look like Kakanon. Uh, nice wow. Dude, that is cr I didn't think Jeff Reardon was that good. That's crazy. Well, it's Canadian, so that's... that's yeah, small an expo there, but... No that's Dante awesome. Bichette, but... I didn't even know those existed. That's cool, because I don't... You would not... Yeah, you won't find those in... Um, Oh, hold on a sec, guys. This card is so rare, it's worth one okay. billion. Am I reading this right? What's the um what's the date on that? Eighty five? What are we opening? It was printed in eighty five for eighty six. You think that's what it was? Because usually it's the year that they just print it regardless so that people... Yeah, no, 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 because you look at, like, I've got the 2000... Well, hold on. Yeah, I, I see what he's saying all the time. Yeah, yeah, okay. Wait, wait. Two <laughs> bar set low for Canadian. Hobby, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that is absolutely a low low bar. <laughs> look, at the, uh, look, at the, uh, look at the back of the other cards for 86. Look at them right now while, you're right, while they're there. What do they say? 85. Yeah, they're, produced, they're produced in 85. So it depends on probably when they were produced. Okay. Right? That's the same thing with your FLIR, right? The 89 FLIR started production in, in December 18, I think. Or 88, I think. Or 18. Uh, December 88. But he has a valid complaint. This is something I rail about all the time. It's tough on those older cards to figure uh, to figure out. Well, I, I think I could probably just look at that. But I just, we, you know, not looking close enough. But still. When you're looking on the back of a card and you see that date, it's, um, yeah. Indy, if you want to post the link to your thing, if, if anybody wants to go to Indiegogo and support you, I'm more than happy to put it in there, bro. 
I do check out. Hey, Hard R Card Dan is in the house. I'm trying to find where what channel that he uh, that Mud Dog posted in, and I'm not seeing him. So there we go. Very cool, Indy Dave. I'm gonna have to check that out. Nice, Pete Rose. Oh dang. That's centered. Holy crap. That's worth two ninety nine. Oh yeah, Pete Rose. PSA ten? What's PSA ten in that worth? Five dollars. Twenty, thirty bucks. It's Pete Rose. It's a manager card though. Yeah. Still. There are Pete Rose collectors out there. There are a I'd lot like make, of Pete Rose. I'd like to make a couple bets yeah. with them, but that's okay. I need to look at I need to look at some two Oh, there we go. Who's that? Jesse Barfield. Who the hell is that? Come on, you don't know who Jesse Barfield is? is a, yes, a I Canadian can. great. Come on. Oh, okay, hold on one second. I have no clue who he is, honestly. I remember him. Well, All right, Cindy, yeah. you do have a wrench just to post the link. Um, I don't keep <laughs> I don't keep a lot of mods just to uh, focus on the watch time. So go ahead and post the link real quick. And um, just move to. Go from there. Quite good. Yeah, we I... found out that mods screw your watch time, so we all eliminated most of our mods. No offense to mods I'm not, at all. So don't yeah. take it personally if you're not a mod anymore. Um, I mean, look at Philip. Look at Philip, man. Philip is on yeah. top of this, man. In My fact, God, dude! You Philip is the only one I left as a mod besides. I guess that's who I left yep. as a mod. Besides yep. you, I think, friend, maybe Urban. Like, oh my gosh! Anywhere Canadian great equals American. American full, I don't think I've seen full spectrum in here. All right, last pack, Hobby. Let's get something for you. We got some good Hall of Famers, though. Little LPM. Last pack, man. Last yep. pack magic. No, I don't doubt, dude. You just you, you. My expectations are generally pretty high, but you exceed those expectations constantly, Philip. A double. Look at that. Look at that. That I was just, the Galarraga stack. Oh wow! Yeah. I just expect expect my mods to like chat a little bit. I actually don't expect them to really do anything. And so whenever Philip would, like, do anything that was helpful, I was like, dude, that's awesome. This is what a mod should be. I didn't have to talk about it. He just posts stuff that needs to be posted, supports the channel. He's He is the guy that you want following your stream Absolutely. for being a mod in your YouTube. Like, I feel, like, bad as a mod when I go on people's channels and I, I, oh. I probably should be doing stuff like that. And I try to every once in a while focus on if they need their – um, what do you call it going on their their patreon page or yeah. whatever while i'm there i try to be present but yeah yeah yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. come on Conseco. no we did get these we got some hall of famers not bad stack no two Galarragas in the same stack yeah i know that's sick dude dude that is sick i'd take that a canadian grade in his mind well, I'll take a look, though, see? Because they're all Canadian teams right there, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, it is like the, the Canadian ball. Awesome, Hobby. Thanks. I'm going to send you all of them because I know how much you love the 86 Donruss. You'll probably have – well, you, wait a second because, yeah, you'd have to take a look because you might have to start a Leaf set now. He does. He has to have that because – He's got that big, uh, big pile of all those awesome hits he's got, and he needs more space now. <laughs> now we've bragged Philip up, and he's like, "Oh God, <laughs> I'm gonna have to be expected to do this in every chat I go to." <laughs> yeah. Nice, congratulations, Andy. Wait, the Indy back. Cole one? Oh, look at that! Yeah. Boom! There we go. Hey, hey. that <laughs> shout out. I think that's the same one. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's very nice. I I do like StreamYard. Like it does some nice things. Send okay, I will. I will send Elton on one. Thanks, Hobby. 
Hold oh, on. thank you, Audrey. That was very nice of you, ma'am. I appreciate that. So the odd army tier is 65. What do I get for 65 bucks, Indy? Digital copy. So I guess the 65 is everything? Oh, wait, there's more tiers. Oh, my God. Oh, God, you shouldn't have showed me this. Yeah, Soto flat out. I'd love Soto to just tear these playoffs up. Oh, absolutely, dude. So what is next for everybody? Uh, what was I gonna show? Um, my burrito. I can show oh, my God, burrito for, for the Pokemon. Pokemon. I can show my burrito real quick. Yeah. <laughs> you still didn't finish that thing, dude. It's huge. Yeah. It's like a five-pound baby. <laughs> I got. I had stomach surgery almost a year ago, so I can only eat like four to eight ounces. So yeah. Seriously? Wow. Yeah, yeah. I've lost like sixty pounds since December. Did you? You had the gastric bypass. Gastric bypass. Yeah. Wow. I would have gone for a duodenal switch, but because I have Crohn's disease, they won't do it. They're like, oh. we are not doing that. You will be pooping rainbows for the rest of your life. <laughs> Dude, I, I've got to figure out how to. So, like, I fluctuate so much. I will gain and lose sixty to eighty pounds in a year. Like, I've done that multiple times in my life. It's just weird. I can't, like, if I eat an ounce of bread, I gain an ounce of weight. <laughs> like, you got to focus on doing pure keto forever. Yeah. yeah. That's the only way. It has to be a full lifestyle change. It has to. It has to. You have to cut out, like, you can eat fruits and vegetables, and fruits are challenging because they have the, the high, yeah. high, uh, what do you call it, Heart, high, high carb load, right? But sugars. they're still healthy for you. Yeah, natural sugars. Okay. Natural sugars. Go full keto salads, and that's what I do. I'm like, I'm eating a, I'm eating a, a basically, a, uh, I'm eating a, a terrible one because it's got rice and it's got the flour tortilla. But I'm literally gonna eat this. I'll put it back in the fridge and reheat it tomorrow, and eat, eat the other third. Um, but nine, nine times out of ten, I still eat just uh, chicken. Beef, pork, shrimp, whatever, um, leafy vegetables, you know. Yeah. I do. I eat proteins and fats. Proteins and fats. I eat realistically three days a week. I'll go on like pure food diets. I'll, you know, I'll cook chicken in a, in a pressure cooker and then I'll have set the chicken aside to eat uh, over a couple of days by itself. And yeah. then I'll go on a, a pure water burn and I'm just drinking soup essentially two to three times a day for three days and get all that flushed out of my system. And, and that's what I do. Yeah. And I burn like, you know, five or six pounds over those few days. And then I, I, I lose weight. It, it sucks. It's challenging, but it's, it's worth it. Yeah. What I've been doing has been so much, it's been the best I've ever done. Cause I do the 16 hour fast a day. Yeah. So that's super easy. You know, it's extremely easy. I sleep for the majority of that. So then I wake up and I just don't eat until, you know, mid afternoon or whatever, and that's all I eat for the day. Basically, is that one meal? I eat a second meal also in the evening. Uh, water, 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 yeah. water, water, water. I lost thirty-five pounds in the last three months because of that. It's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I did P90X once when I got out of college. Yeah. For like two hundred and sixty-five or seventy pounds, and I went down to one hundred and eighty-five. I mean. P90X was legit. Oh, yeah. I mean, exercise in general. Yeah, okay. well, P90X wasn't just exercise, I mean, obviously. But I know, I know. They it's, have it's the whole diet right? with it. Right? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys. I had to step away for a minute. Didn't tell you. I knew you guys right. would keep talking. What was I going to go do? The, the problem was, you know, cooking takes, what, two, two hours a day, and your exercise no, takes another two that, hours? That's where I'm different, and that's why I'll do, like, a pressure cooker. And I'll throw two to three uh, chicken breasts in or whatever. If I want beef stock and beef, I'll throw it in there because it's going to be like so finely, like it's like butter. Like I can literally pull it apart with a, with a spoon and it's phenomenal. Yeah. Chicken is like I can literally just, as I'm pulling it out, it's falling apart on me, okay? It's the like only bark. problem with that with P90X is they have a, like a specific meal plan that they have literally every recipe for every meal. 
Sure, but you can you can adjust that. Yes, and I did. Yeah. 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 Right. I, I also I have. Because I'm mostly vegetarian. You know, I I do eat meat, but uh, pretty rarely. So what I had I to find, adjust quite a bit. What I find really works for me because I've got a barbecue out back. I hate cooking because, as you said, it's time consuming and I have to sit there and watch it. Right. That's the struggle, right? With anybody. Mm -hmm. And I got two kids, right? So I can't, you know, my, my oldest daughter needs attention. The youngest one is now being demanding <laughs> as a little pooper. <laughs> and I can literally, I've got an air fryer. I never thought an air fryer would be awesome, but I love that thing. I've got two air of them fryer. now. Mm -hmm. Air fryer. So instead of a deep fat fryer, deep fat fryer it's an air fryer. And I literally turn the temperature to what I want, whether it's 325 or 400, and they have all of them have instruction of what to set them to for what you're cooking, fish, chicken, whatever, potatoes. They're awesome. Potatoes, potatoes are amazing. Like I love like roasted red potatoes, like on the grill with with like baked and baked with chicken and in the chicken fat. I can just throw them in with the chicken, and they are yeah. like beyond perfect. Holy cow, Urban's cracking into this thing. He's oh like, my god, Urban's ready to go. He was like enough. I like a deep fat fryer, but I can't do the fat anymore. I just no, can't. The air fryer is nice because you just put like a tablespoon of oil or whatever, and you can use. I don't even do that. I don't oil. even do that. I mean, I do. I'll spray the pan if I if I really think I need to, just to make it easier for cleanup. Right. But realistically, yeah. I'll throw the bare chicken in there, seasoned, and and turn it on, 15, 20, 25 minutes, depending on what how much I'm cooking, and yeah. I walk away and I come back 30 minutes later and there's my meal. Do you guys have do you guys have Instapot? I have an Instapot. I do, yeah. Mine's a, mine's a pressure cooker Instapot, so I yeah, can do both too. functions. They're that awesome. is the best thing, thing in the world next to a, next to a what do you call it? We also have like two rice, and so I'm fortunate that I have the Prime, not Prime, but the uh, Amazon what do you call it truck, the treasure truck. Oh yeah. And it's not available in all areas, right? So. Uh, yeah, apparently you're doing this. So he's pull, he's broken. Did anybody buy that last spot? I don't know, but uh, I don't know. I just oh, I I thought oh, I didn't know. I was just opening it. Uh, one cent was trying to get the last spot sold for you. So um, ooh. um, that's cool. We have I have two. So Amazon the the, the treasure truck has had deals on on rice pots on on rice cookers on the on the what do you call it it's on the uh, fryers the air fryers. As well as the pressure cookers, is the Instapots, and I got mine for like, they've been over like sixty percent off. Like, oh, yeah. I, I'm I got good. Mine on Woot because Woot was selling them on some blowout. And if you ever been to Woot.com, Amazon bought them. Okay. <laughs> but they just sell one deal a day, <clears throat> and that deal is like way better than you're gonna get anywhere else. And they actually sell a lot more. That used to be their shtick. That's how they started out was one deal a day, and it's kind of gone into more. But it's like the clearance place, and you actually get some pretty solid items every once in a while. Like they've had multiple times, they've had Xbox Xbox Ones, uh, One S, yeah, on there for sale that were going for like under three hundred. I'm so sad. I'm so taking a step away. back here real quick. I think that's how they started out with one deal. So I'm looking at Oddity's uh, Indiegogo, and I'm very mad right now because his One of One is sold out. I mean, uh, is uh, Indy? Are you still in here? Hold on, Indy. Uh, I do not think he's in here anymore. Buddy, it is Crimin. Hey, Nico. Welcome back. Let me get. I just lost the stream. What was going on here? What happened? I hear myself talking. Yeah, it, for some reason, I must have hit a button and it went to your other video. There we go. Funny. All right, are you ready to do your break? Oh, there he goes. Okay, so. Short round. <laughs> short round. I love short rounds. So, is there any way to get an extra one of those, Indy? I'm willing to. I'm willing to buy in right now. Or, what, what kind of what kind of deal can we work on on one of these? Limited edition things. What is it? It's uh, his comic book. I'm just trying to support him, but when I buy stuff like this, I like buying the limited, limited quantity stuff because. Yeah. 
I have, um, if any, do you, any of you know, do any of you follow D and D or anything like that? Like I'm not a huge D and D by any means. And, um, you all pretty probably know who Matthew Lillard is. No. Uh, he was Scooby-Doo. Oh, okay. He was Shaggy and Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Shaggy. Yeah. So let me post this up here real quick. So he's a huge, uh, Isaac's going to buy that last spot. It looks like. Sweet. So, I know it would negate the whole. Can you make, can you make a, a primate thing then? Make a primate tier for me, and, it, and I'll buy it at the same price as what the one of one was. I'm trying to negotiate here. So, I've actually talked to Matthew. Matthew Lillard just talked to me over Twitter over some of this stuff. So, Beatles and Grimm is this, this company that he set up because he plays D and D with his buddies, and they created this uh, cool company that makes limited edition. Uh, D and D sets based off the stuff that uh, Wizards of the Coast produces, and so they make them in limited production runs. So they have uh, the Ghost of Salt Marsh Silver Edition, um, the what was the other original one, and it's very cool uh, stuff that they put into it more so than what you would get out of a normal D and D set, right? So very cool, very limited production stuff. Um, I'll have to. I need to do a video of what I've purchased from them because it is really top notch. I don't even think it listed on some of their stuff anymore. Anyway, uh, we were doing a team up cover of a big. I'm gonna see. Do I have your email, Indy? Because I want to just communicate with you off stream. Hold on. Oh, the last one's not okay. Is the last one sold? No. Somebody buy into Urban's Break, please. Can I pack search first? <laughs> are you somebody? Are you somebody who will not be named on stream? Hmm? Are you somebody who will not be named on stream? No, I'm just saying. What in, in what way? No, I'm just saying pack search because you can probably pack search these two. I'm assuming, right? I would assume so. I would no, it was that 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 was what I was talking about earlier. These packs are like supposed Difficult. to be tamper proof. Because so if I get a scale and try to scale, they will oh these cool. ones, okay. Right, because the code card in this one is weighted different uh, for each pack, so you can't. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna ask a special favor of both you and and Elkanon, Urban. Mm-hmm. Let's give a nice shout out to Isaac and Ivan, all three of us at the same time, kind of like a happy birthday type of thing. So ready, three, two, one. Hi, Isaac and Ivan. Hi, happy Yay. Uh, fake birthday, and here's a shout out to you guys. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Big shout out. Big shout out, guys. Massive. Massive, massive shout out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And back to you, Urban. Thanks. Urban, I just sent you yeah. money for that last spot. Oh, are you guys sending me money? Oh, I thought we we're. <laughs> I'm not even checking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I sent money for two spots, and I want you to give uh, one pack to one cent and one pack to. Oh boy. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? If if are you guys okay with me um, randomizing these packs real quick? Shuffle. Yeah. I don't okay. care. It's not my break. Just just to make it fair, right? Yeah. While you're doing that, hey, I. Uh... Indy, if you can email me, my email is my PayPal address on my uh, about page. Um, or Philip, if you want to post it out there for me, I, I want to talk to you <laughs> offline. I'm wheeling and dealing here, man. Come on, give no, me. No, I want something. I want something too custom. I love stuff like that. Anyways, I'll have Thank to. Show, I need to show you my. I'll do a video this weekend, probably of all the. I haven't even unboxed the stuff. It is so cool like the the salt marsh one came in a burlap bag like it was they 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 go all out hey paulie how you doing man how's it going paul good to see you man that was chitty (laughs) i'm trying to keep up with chat 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 yeah Yeah, one one cent just just don't worry about just if you guys are buying more than one spot the the other shipping is free just pay it for one time i'm i'm not going to charge you that for every single spot you buy, it doesn't make sense. It's not fair. I agree. 
Thank you so much. Uh, and that was really Dan. That was pretty crappy, wasn't it? That big shout out because <laughs> that was terrible. That was terrible. <laughs> yeah. I, so I thought we were gonna say happy birthday or That's something. That's my thought. Like, no, birthday. I was saying just shout out. Hey, here's a better shout out. Who are we so shouting fun. out to? <laughs> Isaac and Ivan. Isaac and Ivan. Okay, I Isaac. Ivan. I don't Ivan. Think. Ready? We're gonna sing it. Ready? Here we go. We, what are we oh, saying? I guess we're singing happy no, birthday. No, 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 never mind. I'm not going to. Do? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to sing. There we go. Uh, but hey, a huge shout it's out to both to Isaac you. and Ivan. Isaac, Isaac Ivan. is legit kind in this community and has uh, seen him give a bunch of stuff away, which is awesome. And I'm not sure if you have content, Isaac. I haven't checked that out yet or not. And Ivan, I don't know you, but here's a huge shout out to you because I was told to. So uh -huh. Uh -huh. uh, maybe Urban oh, you or... requested. Or primate. Well, requested, sorry. Yeah. And if it's coming That's from primate, it's all good. We know it's good. Right. right. I know that you must be a solid individual. Primate has never steered me wrong, and if he gives me a recommendation, it's pretty solid. Absolutely. There we go. Jabs actually gave me a good shout out today in his feed. Well, awesome, dude. <laughs> anyway, back I, to you, Urban. I just got him to say Sheboygan the other day. I was pretty excited about that. You so, yeah, I got I to gotta kind of figure out what's going on here. Let me just log in real quick. Make sure you're paid for everything. You had five spots of two packs each. I know. For fate, I think. For the fates. Yeah, Isaac. L. Kinon. L. Kinon for two. So that's two, four. We are still at it, Edlin. Six. So that's six spots, right? Two, four. No, oh, hold on. What's going on here? I'm big yeah. in my own head here, guys. I know. I'm just looking what you guys are doing here. We're doing all oh, I got it. I got it now. I got it now. So I need two spots. So I'm missing one, two spots. Is anybody, who else is live? Isaac. I got Isaac. I have Elkanon for... It's because one cent said they were going to pay you later. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. It's no big deal. Welcome, Full Spectrum Odyssey. It's nice to have you. Good to meet you. And uh, yeah. you're in the right community. We're not doing baseball right now. We're, into the, we're doing Pokemon, but this is a community that does not discriminate. And I am uh, very minor when it comes to Pokemon, but I think it's fun. It's changed up a little bit. Okay, so that's one. That's two, three, four, and five. So that's everything. Okay, so what is happening? How am I distributing this? Because people are doing it for us. One person is doing it for another, so just let me know. So what's paying attention? Isaac is getting three packs. One Isaac cent is getting three. Uh, okay. No, I think I, one cent is getting five packs. Yes, five packs. One cent, okay. And you are getting. Oh, and Two. one cent, I'm sorry, one cent bought a pack for Isaac. So Isaac's getting the five pack, one cent's getting the three. Oh, okay. Is that correct? All right, change it up. Isaac, five. Three for, and two for you. Yep. Okay, and then what am I going to random off? I'm going to random off the birdie, right? I don't want to be in the random. And then the sleeves and the energy cards. Is that cool? That can go between Isaac and one cent. So it's a Is that okay, guys? We'll time. do these. And the energies, I guess, too. I don't care. I'm not in it. So. Yeah. I'll do those three. And that way, because I can send all the nice stuff in bubble envelopes, if you guys are okay with that. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, are we going to randomize the packs, or are we just going to... Ah, I'm going to do it my way. One for Isaac. The packs are already random. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to do this one. This one, L. Non's out. There we go. So who wants to go first? Doesn't hey, matter to me. Andrew, what's going on? Why don't you random who goes next? Hey, How's Dave. How's it going, Dave Durango? David, David Durango. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you. I did give a shout out to Dave earlier, but I'm gonna give another shout out real quick. Yes. I did post the links earlier. Uh, mm -hmm. They are up in the chat if you rewatch this. So Dave had a huge one of one relic that he opened yesterday. 
uh, definitely worth a watch to go through it. And uh, I think he actually crapped his pants or might have. So, <laughs> um, yeah. I get it, Dan. I get it. We're wa- we're reading, Philip. We're reading. All right. So one cent is going first. So um, good luck. If you get it, I will poop my pants. Yeah. Holy so. cow. Let's go. We are hunting. I might, I might poop my pants here, guys. We are char char hunting. The char wizard. Hey, are we are we showing codes or are we can I are my saving codes? I don't care about the codes. You can keep my codes if you want. We'll show once a couple. We I gotta get streaming. Probably... I'm so far behind right now just because I'm watching the, the YouTube. I don't feed. think we've ever had Dave Durango as a guest on the channel. No, we have not. No. It would yeah. be good to have him. One, two, right. three, four, clip. Dave, I'm gonna send you a link on uh on Discord, if you're available for a couple minutes, whatever, come and join us live. Yeah, that's that's a big congratulations. That's awesome. He's gonna he's another poly. All right, here we go. Energy. Okay, help me out, El Canon. Not with the names, because I'll make my names as I go up. So this is the Flying Ninja. Yeah, that works. Um, do, you, do you want me to comment in every card? Or? <laughs> no, no, just let me know what's good. What's, because these are commons yeah. anyway. Yeah, comments. it's always the, just the back two. It's the, the uh, Hidden Valley. Sounds good, Indy. Thank you so much. There's uh, there's uh, G.I. Joe. Uh, what's his face? Lieutenant Dan! Yeah. Lieutenant Dan! Ice Lieutenant cream! Dan, ice cream! Oh, there's the Australian duck. <laughs> there, there's the happy-go-lucky creature. The that peak. looks like the anxiety duck from first year of college. You realize he made a mistake in his major. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the flapping fish. Magic carp. And this is are we, uh, army. Hold on, da, da, uh, Dan. Are we too loud, or who? Which one is too loud? Probably me. Might be me. I'm I'm loud. I'm a loud guy. It could be me. Um, okay. This is um, beetle dung. Uh, beetle dung. That looks like. That looks like. I'm not going to say what that is. This is a PG channel, folks. It's a fart. <laughs> Looks like a fart. Yeah. Oh, it's 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 Miss Piggy's nephew. <laughs> oh my! Are you kidding me right now? Do we have a char wizard? Nope. What do we have? Misty's water command. I don't know what that means. It's oh my goodness! Is it reflective? Which one's reflective? Look at that! There you go. The bird. Birds. Dang! Nice. And that's the, get... that's of all the three bird cards, that's the one you want. That's the most All right, I'm allowed. So let me turn my volume down a little bit. I'm pulling the heat for you again. All right. How does that volume sound? Because I do turn up the mic a little bit. Is that better? Yeah, a little, pr- a little, little loud still. How about now? It hasn't changed at all. <laughs> Dear God. Okay. Once it's got a higher there you go. There's a little better. How about now? Test one, two, three. Yeah, test. it's a little better. So that that bird card, unfortunately, the birds are extremely popular in this set. As far as when I say oh. popular, they're they've just been printed a ton and they've been pulled a ton. So, so that card's get... probably only seven, six, seven dollar cards. Oh, okay, but that's not bad. No. Do you get one GX card per pack, or what's what's no. the stat? No, in fact, there's no guarantees in Hidden Faith. Some of them have guarantees, but Hidden Faith doesn't. Okay. Okay, this is like Sanctuary. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Isaac. Miss, Miss Piggy's niece? I'm half deaf it's anyway. Cedric so Mullins' I've... Pokemon, that's true. Oh, uh, there's Cedric Mullins' Pokemon right Mr. there. Mr. Sly Guy? Oh my good, it's coming out of the woods. Caterpie? He looks mad. Yeah, this is like the, I don't know the, the rainbow snake because there's a little rainbow. I don't know the snake smelt spelt uh, backwards. I didn't realize that until Kanan mentioned something. Let me there's ask ma- answer Truth's question real quick. So Truth asked, yeah. I don't know anything about Pokemon, and I'm sorry if it sounds stupid. Nothing. There's no stupid questions, by the way. Um, what's so special about the bird cards? Well, nothing except they're featured in this set, and they are the artwork on this uh, pack. And the general rule when it comes to Pokemon is that if there is a Pokemon on the artwork, the pack artwork, then you want to collect it. That's where general value comes from. And you're going to find that people, they create the uh, artworks based on popularity. Um, huh. so. 
So there's the magic mushroom crab. Crabs and mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you can't have a dual hit in these packs, which is cool. A, a rare. Can you uh, pull one or one like that? By your burp. He ate too much chili last night. Oh he my goodness, we get in the whole. There we go. Good night, Funkin. Night, Funkin. Night, Funkin. Oh, sweet. Leafeon. That is a ultra shiny EX. So how do you know it's ultra shiny versus just shiny? So uh, a shiny is just going to be look like a regular Pokemon card. And the With only... a little bit of reflective. Yeah, the only part that will be reflective is and have texture is just the little square picture. Okay. So Ultra Shiny will be the full card. Now, Ultra Shiny is specific to this set. Not all sets have Ultra Shiny cards. There we go. Forgot to do that. I need a drink, that's why. <sighs> Who was that card you pulled? Uh, Leafeon? Leafeon. Yeah. So the Nationals are still up 3 nothing in the top of the sixth. Kershaw's still picking. Yep. He will be. He'll still be fishing till the seventh. He goes till the seventh. All yeah, right. Here we go. This is playoff. <laughs> I would. I would expect it's playoff. Cool. See, I learned the four trick. I didn't. Uh, never knew that. It's only in Sun and Moon, so. <laughs> Misty, you dirty girl. I know. Pokemon. Wow, are we getting all the girls in this pack? Yeah, this Leafeon, Leafeon GX Ultra Shiny is going for about 14 bucks. Hoo-wee! There you go. Made the money back. Pretty much. Snake. Beetle Dung. Strasburg is batting. Well, I got to see this. Ooh, what is that? That's a shiny Guzzlord. It's an Ultra Beast. And a butter free, a, bu a butter free. Yeah, that Guzzlord's only like two bucks. Truth, don't worry. At least you're not looking at uh, uh, what's the other one? That, the other game out there like this? Magic. Magic: The Gathering, and you got lands and and other stuff, and yeah. All right, one cent. Correct. Thank yeah. You very much. As, as as base cards, because you don't have numbered cards in this, right? You just have yes. the refractors and super refractors. Right. Right. There's not like a, a numbered print run, no. In fact, a That's Pokemon will never publish their print run. Yeah. But really? They, they make pretty limited runs. Yes. I mean, right now, I would guess they're completely done making the. Uh, I, my guess is they're done with the hidden face print runs. Absolutely. And then there sells out, it's gone. Yep. It's like Magic the Gathering does similar print runs, and a dealer, a high end dealer that buys into a lot of stuff every year may get may get a hundred cases which has ten to twelve boxes a, a, a case. So it it's pretty limited. Yeah. yeah. Alright, who is next? Who wants to go next? Was that my stack? No, that was one cent. So it's you or let's go to the I... next sack. Let's see it. Yours? All yeah, right. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? I don't see one cent peeking up. Oh, this one feels heavy. Oh yeah. In that case, there's nothing in it. So you're telling me each one of these cards weighs different? No, I'm. Oh yes. Well, no, I don't think each one weighs different. I just think that they. We'll cut it and trim it based on what they put in it, so each pack either weighs, or I, so each pack weighs the same. Hmm, interesting. All right, here we go. Ready? Oh my goodness. There we go. Lovely Jinx. Smoochy Fire. Hmm. Smoochy Fire. I don't know what that that bird's doing. Oh, it's Eevee. I know Eevee. One cent. They go nuts over Eevee. Yeah, Eevee's There's... a base for a very popular Pokemon. Flareon, Vaporeon. Um, Australian Eevee Duck. On. 
Oh, you have a big shiny coming up, buddy. Oh my Probably goodness. Probably just a GX. There you go. Oh, Decidueye. Oh, there you go. Oh! Uh, Vaporeon. You can oh. give all of the cards except the Decidueye to one pet. Okay. And this next next pack, you can give all the base to Isaac. So how many? That's three GXs then. Yeah, so I've pulled two Ultra Shinies in a box before. Um, okay. But that's the most I've pulled is two Ultra Shinies from a hidden face box. I really? Think you can pull more or less, but I've pulled two. Yeah. Now, I have pulled full arts as well, so... So are these three, does that mean that's three? Or no, this is different, no, right? You have two, yeah, you have two Ultra Shinies there and one Tag Team GX. All right, so these go to one cent. Tag Team GX. And you know the card's full art, by the way, because the it has texture. Ah, okay. All right, so last that pack. shiny right there would be called a full art. Got to watch the corners. Two, three, four, and flip. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I like doing that. It's fun. Sanctuary. Uh, Miss Piggy's niece. Night cause. Good night, cause. Sly guy. Evie. Snake. Magic mushroom crab. The thing in the woods. Mr. Fire Burp. Fire Burp. Rock Rough. Oh, yeah. Rock Rough. Nice. I need that one. And Erica's Hospitality. Cool. So, yeah. Give all the cards except the Rock Rough to Isaac. All right. <laughs> cool. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Where is my EL? Yes, you can play a game with these. It's called uh, TCG. Um, you can actually download it and play it uh, via your Google Play or iTunes. So it's a lot like Hearthstone. If you've ever played Hearthstone or any deck building game, it's a lot like uh, Magic, Hearthstone, any of those. Um, and it is pretty fun and there are a lot of digital cards that you can get uh, from these packs so each pack they have a code card inside that he'll show you when he opens this pack and that code card um, you plug into the tcg online game and you can open a digital pack uh, and people will pay for digital pokemon cards i mean they'll if you pull a, an ultra shiny digital charizard people will pay you for it it's not going for four or five hundred but uh you can make you know 20 50 30 bucks just depends. Well, so the kids are watching. Woohoo! All right. Here we go, guys. Urban's breaking for the family. I love it. I love it. This is a family break. Yeah. Good do luck, they, Isaac. Good luck. Do, do the kids collect the uh, the codes? Want to yep. grab him? You can. There you go. Yeah, plug that sucker in. It's fun to open the packs online too, because they open them just like this. Like you have to swipe your finger to like rip the top of the pack open, and then each card comes out oh, individually. Awesome. And so it is kind of exciting because it is it is just like a pack opening. All right, here we go. Flying Ninja. The Underground City. G.I. Joe, Miss Piggy's nephew, the Australian duck, the flapping fish, ooh, the star charm. Star you. There's the electric shock therapy ball. Ooh, it's a wheezing. Any good? Uh, it's a reverse hollow. I think it's a reverse hollow rare. Is it a star in the left corner? Um, it is. Yeah, I think that's that's not a bad pack. There we go. The wheezing. The wheezing. 
don't think it's worth a ton, but it's okay. Not a bad card. So Ivan, we got a wheezing. Reminds me a little of Jolteon, which does, doesn't go for a lot in the set, but is tough to pull. Crazy how a card is tough to pull, but it doesn't go for a lot. I know. Doesn't make sense to me. A wheezing. All right, here we go. Grab it while we can. Grab it while we can. Oh, forgot to do the four. Truth, the most valuable Pokemon card is a Charizard. Well, in general, you're probably going to find uh, like an anecdotal evidence of something different. But uh, the most expensive one that I know of was the Charizard First Edition Shadowless. And it sold for $40,000 on eBay. So. It's the praying mantis. Yeah, I mean, I think some of the um, Lizard. Magic the Gathering, like if you get a Black Lotus Alpha Beta from 20 years ago, those generally go for five to ten to fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a piece in TSA ten. Slowpoke. <gasps> it's Miss Piggy's brother. Aunt. That's a different one. Oh, Miss Piggy's uh, nephew. There's a lot of these different. They look the same. Does that mean they turn into the? This is what they turn into. No, those are all different base set Pokemon. Okay. Oh, from the woods. Ooh, Snorlax. Oh my goodness, we got something. Starmie. Starmie GX, nice. Ivan, we got a Starmie. That one looks really off center, unfortunately. It's not worth grading, though, because um, I don't think it's worth a ton. All right, next pack. Yeah, it's about a $2 GX. This is the unfortunate part. I, I, there's very few GXs in this whole set. And the GXs aren't worth much. One, two, three, four, and the Lipperoo. Energy. The Happy Jinx. The Fire Breather. Oh, this is, it looks like a green onion he's holding. <laughs> All right, it's the Mushroom Crab. It's the Fire Burp. Miss Piggy's Nephew. Or one of the two. Slow poke. Flopping fish. A Mew. There's a Mew. Mew reverse. That's good. Ivan, we got a Mew. Sleeve it. And an Electrode. That's a cool card. We have a Mew. Do do do. Yeah, hollow, hollow Mew would definitely be better there, but the reverse hollow is cool too. <gasps> and the last pack's a Charizard pack. What does that mean? Last pack magic, baby. Mm, this is not the last, but I see it there. Yeah. Hey, Here I we go. do have a Rock Ruff, so give my Rock Ruff to uh, Isaac. All right, Rock Ruff to Isaac. Uh, since he hasn't gotten an Ultra Shiny yet. One cent bid. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Energy. What kind of energy is that? Uh, metal. Metal? Okay. <laughs> Misty. Boom, boom, boom. Is this going to be the third girl coming up right there? Star Charm. Dodgers got a man on second and third with only one out. Geo dude, punch you out. Punch, punchy rock dude. Yep, punch you rock dude. Dinobot. Ooh, it's an energy. Yeah, very nice. I like those shiny energies. 
Ooh, and a Zapdos. Hollow Zapdos, yeah. Very nice. I would sleeve the energy. Okay. I don't see many of those. Yeah, I have not pulled the whole set of energies yet. Dodgers got one run so far. Yeah, let's go here. All right, last pack magic, guys. So is Trip Pokemon first released in Japan? Yes. Okay. I believe they released in Japan in like 95. I think Magic was 91, 92, something like that. Yeah, Magic yeah. was before Pokemon, but Pokemon yeah. just took over when they yeah. came out. I mean, there's industries for both, right? There's there's followings for both. I think Pokemon honestly got lucky uh, for the time frame that they released it. It's just people were kind of into weird stuff back then in the 90s. And they were all about it. What are we going to get, Ivan? What are we going to get? <gasps> Energy. And Lapras. Yeah, I think I've heard of a few six-figure cards out there before, um, but I'd have to go and look. Man, another shiny energy. Dang. Yeah. It's nice. the energy box. All right, there we go. Yeah, it worked out. Not yeah. Bad. Not bad at all. All right, so we have three items. me no problem at all my pleasure dude you know what my downfall is it's the taco bell nacho box oh taco mm, i might oh they're closed now the nacho box is so freaking good which one's the nacho box it's just a box of nachos <laughs> oh, well, nachos, not not tacos, right? Because I know they have the taco box. Right, yeah, they have a taco box, but I think my favorite is the is it Taco Bell Grande, Nacho Bell Grande. Yeah, that's pretty good too. Like just cheese, meat. Skip all the veggies. I don't need the tomatoes and crap in there. Just give me cheese and meat and just smothered so it's gooey and yeah. somewhat crunchy still. Oh God, these new the new boxes they have, man, I love them. I don't eat Taco Bell that much. Yesterday was the first time in probably about six months that I've had Taco Bell. Um, but it was definitely one of those. That was a good – that was an enjoyable meal. Yeah, I'm not a big fast food guy, but I will go to Taco Bell if, if there's a uh, few options. I'll go, to, I'll go to Taco Bell even if I'm just down for a good time. So we have the uh, – one more shout-out we're requesting for us uh -huh. to, to do. Uh, call Ivy Shane if we get something else. Okay, sorry. I missed that. I missed it too. I apologize. So who's the uh, the call out to Isaac? Ivan again or Urban? Are you finished with Isaac's stack or no? Uh, yeah, we're done. I'm just doing uh, getting the randomizer ready. Is that 2018 series two? What do you call it, Box? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, it's um, Blaster Box. Series 2 Blaster? Yeah. How much is it? Uh, I don't know if it's for sale. <laughs> wait, you've got two there. So you have the Blaster Box. and Wait, you yeah. have... All right, so I'll you have a Series, series 2 2018, and you have a Series 2 update. Yeah. The Braves won earlier, Chris. Yes. 3 nothing. Yes, yeah, so he has the Acuna short print possibility in Series 2 uh -huh. and the Acuna update. I so, don't know what variation that is, but yeah. The Series right. 2 that I bought the other day, I bought a box just like that. Yep. And it gave me, they gave me another box on top, a hobby exclusive Series 2 trading card. Did you guys get that when you bought it? I don't know. I think he just, I think this is just the guy at the card shop throwing this on as an extra pack. Probably. Right? Oh, the blue pack. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're supposed to get that stuff from them, from the dealers, when you buy stuff. I see. So, yeah. so if you buy it from eBay, they're not going to do that. But if you buy it from a dealer, they're throwing that in. Most of them, realistically, not. So if you – so, like, what's previously done is that vendors get it, 
and then they're supposed to give you X amount of packs, of blue packs or gray packs, whatever, silver packs, based on how many boxes you buy, whether it's hobby, blaster, or whatever. Yeah. Okay. What they're doing now, because of all the issues that's come up, probably because the vendor's not giving the people their cards, their packs, they're including it in the actual box. So that six box case of update that I have for 19 will include multiple packs of that that I will give away. Hmm. Mine's just taped to the outside. Yeah, yours was from the vendor, yeah. or from the hobby shop. I'm going to step away right quick. I'll be right back. All right. And five. One cent. Energies. All right. Let's go back here. What the heck's going on with my touchpad? There we go. See you later, Isaac. Thanks for joining, man. Yeah, Good to thanks, have you Isaac. Tonight. Appreciate it. Oh, Isaac, you got we got the giveaways here. Almost done. That was for the energy. Yeah, how much are the birds really going for? I need to check that because it's not in my hidden face price guide. Okay, this is going to be for the sleeves real quick. Two times. Good luck. Here we go. One time. Two time, Isaac with the sleeves. All right, for the what is it called? Moltres and Zapdos, Zapdos and Arctic, Arctic. What is it? Moltres Ar and Zapdos and Articuno. Articuno. All right. Five times. Holy cow! That stained glass card at a. Uh, Beckett 10 sold for $130 today. Wow. That card right there. Wow. Here we go then. I'm going to put Isaac. Raw, it's selling for like 8 bucks, but. Cents. Okay, here we go. Five times. One time. Two. Three. Four. And. Five, one cent. Congratulations, one cent. <laughs> Get that thing graded, one cent. Thank you, guys. That was fun. Man, I didn't realize graded it was going for so much. That's crazy. I have a ton of them. And I've given a ton away. Unfortunately, those promo cards are difficult to grade. Are they? <laughs> They're just all cut really poorly. <coughs> the centering is <coughs> is really rough. Awesome, one cent. Now, now, now they're all uh, taken care of. No fighting over the stained glass. Problem solved. Problem solved. Yeah, I have one in getting graded right now, so I'm curious. Well, these would make good good boys. That thing. Which, which ones? Those stained glass cards. Oh, yeah, I think so. I have like Absolutely. 10 of them. Well, more than that, too. I also have all those boxes. I need to put all the boxes on my site now, and e or probably on eBay. I put a few on my site and left on eBay. Yeah, I need, uh, I need to get my site going here. On eBay, man, if I can throw those new boxes on there like tonight mm -hmm. i'll bet you i can sell them for 100 bucks a box i'm gonna be um 
probably pick me up some hockey tomorrow. I'm back. So if anybody's wanting to get in on a break, I'm going to be doing um, probably some artifacts. Hockey, if anybody's interested. Probably do a one, probably a two-box break, actually. Pete Alonzo is on the late show. The, the, the well, Mets are out of the playoffs, right? Uh, the Mets? Yeah, they're not in the playoffs. Yeah, I thought. <clears throat> Wait. You're so famous, you're infamous. <laughs> one, yeah. cent, one cent says I'm hitting up Walmarts at the right time. Well, that could be one way to view it. The other way to view it is that I go there every hour throughout the day, so <laughs> I guess you can get lucky that way. You can. It's funny, I went, <laughs> when those Hidden Faith trainer boxes came out, I was up all night, went there every night, or every hour. My mom goes there for groceries, and boom. There they are. Bound to happen. I need to reach out to my brother in Texas and say, hey, can you find me any of this? Yeah. Well, guys, I think I'm calling it a night. I'm exhausted. No worries. It's thank been you. a long week. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Hours. Yeah, thank you. It was a fun night, and uh, I'll probably be on maybe one one other time this weekend. But if not, I'll see you guys next week. Okay, yeah. take it easy. Yeah, I'm, And I'll be in chats this weekend, so I'll, I'll yeah, be of course. there. All right. Urban, you going to stay on for a bit, or are you, go, you done? Uh, I, I'll, stay, I'll, I'll hang up for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Do your, do your break. Um, 